Welcome back to Mike'd Up. Today's Friday, October 21st. We are brought to you by Sterling Automotive. Welcome to Happy Hour. We are here at Uncle Earl's live from Uncle Earl's with part owner himself on the show. Well, Appreciate it. Away. He's going to talk a lot of gambling. We Over have there. Floyd in the stand in the, in the producer's chair doing the things that he needs to do. We are uh, fashionably late on a good time. 433 is good. 433 is good. That's on me. That was on me. We had conversations going on going a little on. bit before. Uh, tell you what, boys, it's been a long 48 hours for me, but yeah, I'm dude, locked were- in. I'm on PEDs. I'm ready to go. All right, I'm ready go. to go right I now. I your eyes were a little okay, yeah, wider I'm, today. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. We have uh, the man, the myth, the legend, John Peterson in <laughs> studio. You flew yourself to Baton Rouge. That's right. We flew the weed whacker over yesterday. It's, uh, it was a slow slow and steady three hours in, I the, love, I in, love the, that. in the mosquito, but we made it. You know? in the mos- hey, but you're here. You don't have it, though. You flew it back, and you're driving back, or are you just coming back to pick you up? No, I, f- I flew over uh, with another pilot, and then he flew it back last night. We had a hell of a tailwind. Uh-huh. So we got here fast, but it took him four and a half hours. Four to half hours to it may be faster yeah. to drive home. He probably should have just driven. <laughs> so, the best thing about the weed eater, though, is like we were flying on I twenty out of out of Fort Worth. You know, going we go I twenty, then we hit forty nine, and we come south down here. And I twenty was right out the left window, so I looked down there and like. The cars are almost as fast as, <laughs> as the plane. You know, you like they're about to pass us. So I'm like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta get a faster plane. Man. Yeah, we, we, gotta, are expensive, we, gotta, bro, so. we need an upgrade. Just yeah, maybe we're, like a G5. We're still beginners, all right. I'm a hundred, yeah, yeah. hundred fifty hour pilot. How do you? So. How does it work though? Like when you get your pilot's license, do you have to go and get another pilot's license to yeah, fly like bigger planes? Like rated, yeah, you right? got. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get rated, type rated, stuff like that. Is that just flight hours or? Yeah, it's experience. You gotta go to. You gotta go to school for it. And right now, I'm working on an instrument rating basically means I can fly in the clouds, you know, and uh, make a schedule. Right yeah. now, I, I got to fly when it's perfect outside. But yeah. uh, with, with an instrument rating, yeah, you can fly. You can fly when it's cloudy, raining, whatever. You don't want to do that. But yeah, you're yeah. not going to see Peterson so, driving the 747. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not. Yeah. 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 He's not yeah. flying the private, the, hey. the PJs yet. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all board a, a plane at, at Baton Rouge Metro, and you see me up in the front, you might want to turn around. Because you tell you what, if, I, if we order a NetJets flight, and he is the pilot on. I I don't know if I'm taking. No offense to you. Come on, man. Yeah, but maybe. Come on, maybe it'd be a good event. Maybe hey, a good. Uh, don't let. Hey, don't let our past future. history yeah. determine <laughs> the flight you get on. You're right. right? We've grown up. Yeah. Sort of. It'd be like maybe. Denzel Washington in flight. That's just, right. Yeah, a couple right. of years. A little cocktail. Or who's the, the, was it? Uh, who's the other guy? That was the pl- the pilot? Uh, oh, Sully. Sully. Yeah. Sully. That's a better yeah. story. Yeah, that's yeah. a better story. Yeah, that one turned out better. Yeah, Sully. Sully is the better one. Or you can go uh, on holiday if you want. Well, yeah. welcome back to Baton Rouge. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, the Tigers here. have a big weekend. We're going to get into that. We talked about it all week, obviously. Uh, LSU, Ole Miss. The line, um, I don't know. We're going to go through the Heineken headlines here. I don't know if the line gives me more confidence or takes away the confidence that I have. For me, I think it gives me a little bit more confidence that the line goes up because um, maybe people know something that I don't know. I'm not uh, – I'm not the sharp. I'm not a great gambler. We do have a great gambler right here that's on the show. BG, thank you for coming in. What Appreciate it. Open at two or it opened. But see, so on, on some websites I see it open at a pick 'em, and some people say it opened at two, yeah. a plus two. Some of that for, stuff, man. Like when it opens on Sunday night or Monday morning, it's a lot of like offshore stuff. The limits are so small, 500 bucks, a thousand maybe. That line moves all week. Come Friday or Saturday, the line's pretty locked in. That's why come Friday or Saturday, if you walk into Caesars or any big sports book, you can put down a substantial amount of money. Yeah. Monday and Tuesday, when the line comes out, yeah. you're not betting a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, it's at two and a half. LSU's uh, down to one and a half now. Um, yeah, if anybody's giving out plus two, I'll take as much plus two. Yeah, it's not plus this. Yeah, LSU, LSU's right. favorite one and a half. Now, um, we've talked to a few beat writers. Uh, we talked to one on Wednesday, Brad Logan, and I know the Collada Show has talked to a few. I've seen about four or five different interviews with beat writers from – Ole Miss, it seems like they have zero confidence in their team to win. Like, nobody that is a fan of Ole Miss and a beat writer of Ole Miss think that Ole Miss is going to win the game. Yeah. That kind of scares me, I think, a little bit. Yeah, I feel as if it's kind of a trap game a little bit for, for, uh, for Ole Miss. For ooh, Ole Miss. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I think this is the Tigers coming out party tomorrow. I really I, think, I'm I with you. It. I buy it. Like, I, th- I think we win big tomorrow. Listen, if Jaden Daniels is just 75% of what he was last week. Yeah. That's what Pete said earlier. If he plays like he did last week, Even, if we have Florida play- Jane Daniels, we are going to dominate. I mean, bro, asses. Florida Jane Daniels looked like Lamar Jackson. He did. He I mean, did. he threw three. He was throwing balls downfield. He was he was throwing 50-50 balls. He was allowing his guys to go up. Make Brian Thomas looked like an All-American. Mm-hmm. And then he ran the ball only when he had to. And when he did it, he scored touchdowns. It was. I mean, 
We actually ran the ball as a I think the running backs ran the ball well. Our offensive line is playing well. Will Campbell makes a huge difference. He does. Right? This man was he dehydrated, was had a seizure, time. was in the hospital, and then the next week he gets offensive lineman of the year. I mean, offensive lineman of the week. So give him a year. Give him maybe of the year. Just give it to him. Right? Just maybe. give him the trophy already. Yeah, give him the year. Two, two bookend what freshmen. What I will say about Jaden Daniels, though, that first game against Florida State, his first instinct was, was the wrong. Run. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now, last week, his first instinct was throwing. And I'll say this. Even, and even, even against Tennessee, I know we weren't – but even against Tennessee, you could see he was trying to sit in the pocket more yeah. than just trying to just get out Bill and Campbell's run. Campbell's out, you know, yeah. and he has no protection and he really didn't have much time. But, like, last week, you give him another couple seconds, yeah. that dude can make some throws. No doubt. And he, I mean, he's experienced yeah. enough to do it, and he's not bad. As bad as he – as inconsistent as he was at the beginning of the season, he still made winning plays throughout some of these games. Yeah, and that's he, all you can ask for. Florida mm-hmm. State game, he kept us in the game. Yeah, yeah. right. Having those two linemen out against Tennessee was obviously huge, yeah. right? But I don't think we realized how good Tennessee was as a football team. Yeah, well. right. We Tennessee's got a good football team. Real good yeah. football team. And, and you know what? We moved the ball. We just couldn't score, really. I mean, you had opportunities in the first half to score points to, to make it. I don't think we would have won. No. But I don't think we would have lost. The gap wouldn't have been. Now, you go down there and you go for it on fourth, or you score instead of not getting it on fourth down and you get inside the 10 or 15, and then you don't drop. Like, there's things. We drove the ball. The first half, we had 200 yards passing against Tennessee. Like, we, we moved the ball a little bit. They moved the ball. Not we. I didn't do anything. They moved the ball <laughs> your a off. little bit. Yeah. Huh? Cheer giraffes off. I did cheer my uh, come back on Monday. Man, I'm going to be horse yeah, again on Monday. Looking back at that game, I was really, really harsh on the coaching in the first half. Yeah, it's horrible. Like, fourth and five, fourth and six, whatever it was. Going far, there, you're down 10 nothing. you're in your home stadium, put some points on the board, you know. And I thought that was a terrible call. And then before half, there's no way. The that, last thing you can do is give them the ball back and let them put points on the board before half, right? Looking back, though, back to it, I was very hard on Brian Kelly. Looking back, I think he realized. He had to score. Correct, you know. Now, I – and we talked about on the show, me and Jared talked about it, I – if you take, give me both fourth downs, right, that happened. I know we're going two weeks and we're going to talk about the Ole Miss game, but you give me both of those fourth down situations. That fourth and five, I can live with. I can say, you know what, you're driving, you're moving the ball down the field on that drive. You felt good. You felt like you had an opportunity. You missed it by a half a yard. I could accept that. The fourth and ten, what is the reward for getting that? You're still not in field goal no, range, no, and you're yeah. not going to score a touchdown. Like, no. You can't give the ball what back. Is, yeah. Yeah, what is the, the reward for that? It reminded me – Watching the first half of the Tennessee game, I know we, you know we're, we're looking backwards instead of looking forwards here. We, sh- we should be looking forward tomorrow, but just just for a reality check here, it looked like Les Miles play calling in that first it half. It did. Of the no, game. it was yeah. very looked scared. Yeah. We looked scared. We looked yeah. like we were you know just handing the ball off, running here, running there, throwing a screen pass. But last week, and that's the perfect segue. Sending it over the top, you and, know, then, and then and then and you're he scheming throws a pretty ball. And too. yeah, he does. And you're scheming guys open, right? You had receivers running. You weren't running the tight end in the flats anymore. You're running running backs out in the flat. You had right. tight ends going over the middle. Guys were go. Jaden Daniels was throwing guys open, right? He was anticipating anticipatory throws. I struggled on that with on Monday, but anticipatory. Big that's a big like, one. That's, that's a, a, yeah, was, yeah, that's a little, I'm from Dallas. We practiced. Though, that's been, a big word. I've been practicing. Yeah. I've been practicing. He's <laughs> throwing comeback routes before guys break out, like, come out of his breaks. Like, yeah. He was doing things that everybody's been asking him to do, right? And so you hope that that carries over. We get Armani Goodwin back, mm-hmm. which is more right. depth. What is the deal? Goodwin's back, too. Armani Goodwin. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Literally yeah. just said that. I'm deaf. I'm deaf. Here's, oh. Give me some of those headphones, Lloyd. I can't hear anything. It's from flying so Here's, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have brought my it's aviation the weed, headset. It's the airplane. It's the, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah the weed eater. Hey, the weed eater constantly in your head. You're like, wow. You need to pop it. I can't hear anything. Let's talk about it. I don't understand this, right? Coming into the season, I thought the running back room was deep. Where is our – where are our running backs? Like, where are – we got Noah Kane. Came in from Penn State, and we thought he was split. He doesn't play ever. I don't know where he's at. Um, Armani Goodwin's been out. The best running back we've had, the most consistent running back we've had, has been Josh Williams, and he was a walk. He's a walk on. He was a walk on. I think he's on scholarship. He's now, on scholarship but, now, but I yeah. think you can kind of shed the walk on title. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, no doubt. Earned, no doubt. That's the easiest yeah. thing to say about him. But I think Brian Kelly is a big who do I trust guy, and right? that's the only guy he trusts right now. Like. Our money was getting there. I think he kind of trusts Emory, I mean, uh, John Emery a little but, bit. But he trusts him in certain situations. Yeah. He can't have him out there in third yeah, down and pass. No. Swing him out there to the side and yeah, dump like, it off to him. Because you, know, you can see what happens when he gets his, like, the ball like the ball in his hands. He's an electric playmaker. Yeah. But right now it's just Josh Williams. I know you can pass pro. I know you're And that's, I think that's the biggest thing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I think Josh Williams is getting the nod and he's getting more work because he is good in pass protection and he can go out, he can catch the ball, but he knows that he's going to do his assignment and block that's, the guy he's supposed to block, right? And I think that's. 
That's why you see a lot of these guys in the NFL that are undrafted free agents as running backs. That's why they play early because they understand that. Some of these guys that are super talented in college, they've never had to do that. Like, no. hey, we're going to give you the rock four, to- four downs yeah. in a row. You're going to play You're going to get the guy. You don't have to worry about protection. Just go do your thing. NFL, everybody's as talent- just as talented uh, as you. Joshua like, was you just picking up blitz on the scout team. Like, this is yeah. his way on the field. So, and- I, I mean, I, I, get, I, I understand that. That's, you know, that's a big reason why he's playing. But what scares me the most going into this week, going into the game tomorrow, is one Lane Kiffin, right, because he's super creative in how he – when you think yeah, about Nick, Lane Nick Kiffin, Nick Saban calls him the most creative coach he's yeah. ever been. Right. With. Yeah. Like right. The most talented coach he's ever. Right. Been and that's and that's, that's saying good. a lot because that's the rehabilitation program for coaches at Alabama. <laughs> yeah, right. right. All these coaches come in. Go look at the coaching tree that people go there for a couple of years. Now they're. Strong. I mean, Sarkeesian. Strong. I mean, you have all these guys, Jimbo right? Fisher, yeah. yeah. Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball, like all these guys, right? So, um, uh, Kirby Smart, all like, everyone, right? So, Bill O'Brien. Huh. <laughs> Big Bill's still there. I don't know. I hope that he might have a job for life. Yeah. He no, what about Harold to... Perkins, bro? Nobody's talking about this. That dude should never leave the field. Harold Perkins should never so that's, come off the that's field. That's what I was saying. So I'm looking at. I was reading some of the quotes. The problem. That, from, that's why we, dude. That's why we got killed by Tennessee. Like, I was, he played like four plays. Right, and that, Nine. I, well, I saw Kelly. He doesn't fit saw, our scheme. Yeah, I saw he doesn't Kelly. fit our scheme. Yeah, put Bullshit. the player on the team. Get that yeah. motherfucker on the field. Like, so he's I our was, best player. Your scheme. Yeah, I, he's our best player. On I got like my new offense. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I was, and I was so mad watching Brian that. Kelly's presser, right? The quote that Brian Kelly was said was, we have to get him on the field. We have to find ways to get him on the field. I'm not moving him to inside linebacker, right? Which I understand. Now, he said, I don't want him doing too many, having too many reads, right? To, having to understand and dissect everything. I want him to go out there and just be an athlete yeah. and go out there and get the ball, right? And Play so it. I understand it, but you've got to figure out a way to get him on the field, whether you put him at – Jimmy's and Joe's. Something you've yeah. got to have him on there. Yeah. Put him at safety. Shit, put yeah. him on the line, dude. Put him, put him as a, a rush end. I don't know, but you've got to have him on there because when he's there, something happens, right? Like he's doing something positive for the defense, right? How many plays do you think he plays? He's going to play a lot. How many plays do you think he played? Over, oh, under? Oh, I mean, 60% of snaps. I bet, I bet he plays 30, 30 40 snaps. Yeah, that, that's pretty that, – I think he played somewhere between 20 and 30 against Florida. Like, there's obviously a time and play. He's not going to like, – he might yeah. start, but he's not going to – he's going to be getting subbed no, because out. because he doesn't yeah. – he's right, the best athlete on the defense, I would, I would imagine. But, dude, it's, there's a lot of things that go into the into, – so sure. you put him in there to have the, have the best opportunity to succeed. I'd say he plays 50% of the snaps yeah. this week. I think fifty percent is probably a good number. Here's school, bro. We got we got going over there. He goes, what are you doing? He's like, school. He goes, bro, you're working on school. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. What are we working on school for? You're still in school. Bro. You haven't heard that word in so long. You're like school. Yeah. Flight school. I, lot, bro, I got school. I looked down and saw like all this stuff. I, I got anxiety just now looking at all that. And he's in like thermodynamics or some shit. Like, so Thermo thermodynamics. Can you imagine taking that? Hey. I was talking to the little men's golf team today. They were out there. The little men's golf team. <laughs> the uh, men's I'm like sorry. Six foot six, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> they just, you know, it seems like so long ago. Yeah. You know, whatever. But they were, I was talking to them. We were shooting the shit, and they were, they were talking about this landscape architecture class they had. Oh, hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, I had one. It was on Friday. It was a Friday. I bet you still had the same teacher they had. I go, I go, is Max Conrad still the, te- no the teacher? No way. He goes, yeah. He's oh, yeah. The and the tests are the exact <laughs> same as they were 15 years ago. We had the test bank. You had the test yes. bank. We I all made straight test hundreds. Bank, yeah. Hundreds. All on the test. When you got put in landscape architecture, you're like, you just marked this down. Like, yeah. Hey, I was like, happening. that dude, that dude's still alive. He was like 80 when I was getting in class 15 years ago. Time to be fine. Yeah. Now, if you don't make an A in landscape architecture, then you, there's, you're in a, you're in a yeah. bad spot. You probably test, should go. The test hadn't changed in 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> the best, right? Yeah. Dude, talk about it. What a great gig for him. All he has to do is stand up there and take your phone away. But, hey, test's going to be the same. You just have to shut up for 50 minutes, yeah. and you'll get out of here. Oh, and you go. The cl- that was the best class to go to because you knew everybody in the class. Yep. And it was a class. All, all the athletes were in it, and it was like. There's a lot of people in it. It was just a lot of fun, it was a fun class to be. Bro, I love it those was. classes. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got a copy of every test this year. Oh, yeah. Hey, Thanks. as a regular student, though, like as a regular student, when you walk in and go to a class and you see like a bunch of football players, like, baseball players, I'm you in. know you're in the right place. <laughs> <I'm in. laughs> Again, in. this is athletes. I'm in the right like, spot. Right, this is good, exactly I will not have the worst grade in this class. Yeah. I, I, will be, I will be just fine. We're in good shape. Yeah, Which one is that for you? I had a, I had a communications class with a bunch of Oh yeah, that's a, that's another one. Communications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we got we got him 100 for uh, showing up. 
<laughs> Debbie Harriman. <laughs> yeah. Miss Debbie Harriman's class. Jenny Peters. Yes. Yeah, Dude, Jenny that was Peters. a good one. Sports marketing. Yeah, Who's the one you don't like? I a soccer game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, D. <laughs> Jacob. D. Jacob. D. Jacobson yeah. was a good one. D. Jacobson was, D. Jacobson oh, no. was a good one. What a yeah. – just the worst kid described. Oh. Oh. No, the worst. Dude, my favorite class at LSU has now Dr. Tommy Karam. Oh, the best, dude. On Monday nights was the best. Yeah. Yeah. And because not only, like, do you, do you, you actually learn, learn something. You, you learn actually, something. But it's entertaining. And I he's related to me, so that's why it's such a good He's class. awesome. I literally yeah. ran into him, like, I don't know, three years ago at some, like, cook-off, gum wheel cook-off sponsorship. And he was in – so I walk up, and I'm like, Dr. Karam, you do not remember me. I took your class 20 years ago. Hands down to this day, my favorite class. It's like, man, thank you. He's, it was unbelievable, bro. He's really good at what he does. He's awesome. And, he's, I mean, he's still, he's still doing it, and he loves it, and – he doesn't have to do it, but he does it. Um, but back to the Ole Miss Loves game. LSU over seven. Wins for the total. He does love LSU over seven, which I do. I, I, do. Have, to, I have to. I've already bet it in. It's in yeah. there. It's fucking locked in stone. It's in Wait, there. Wait, what? He said he loves LSU over seven because he did. I was talking to him. He goes, I would bet a I lot know, of money If I had the six season. and a half right now, I'd be licking my child uh-huh, six man. and a half. I, I seven have, is a tough number. I don't. I have seven. Yeah, Where are my friends going? My friends decide to leave? My friends show up and leave. That's fun. Yeah. Um, no, we're friends. still here, though. Yeah, y'all are still. That's yeah. all that matters. I'm not leaving. You're not. You're here. Yeah. You're here for I heard they got free Pro Bowlers coming in. So, so Oof. I'm ready. Love Let's go. that. Actually, um, I made that up. Speaking of free, I'm glad you. That's a great segue. Thank that you for that. News, you have a podcast. Yeah. You know what you're doing. Hey, we we don't run a podcast based on facts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of free. Speaking of free. Shut our friends viral. here from Uncle Earl's. They are having the band Wave Runner. They're playing tonight at 10 o'clock. Show up. Two dollar fireball shots. $2 Pink Whitney shots. Come out and support Uncle Earl's. Come out and support the show from Uncle Earl's by buying, spending money at Uncle Earl's. Also, Uncle Earl's having a tailgate on Saturday. It's Tito's tailgate. Where's that at? Um, it is, I don't know. It's somewhere in the football, around the football game. Oh, that's how you Actually, no, 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 no. Take it back. It's here at Uncle Earl's. Okay. Tailgate is tailgate here. Tailgate here, right? Free cover, free cover until 10. So if you don't have tickets to the game and you want somewhere to go watch the game, come watch the game here. Um, there's a Tito swag pack. There's specials. They're going to have stuff. They're going to get free giveaways. So come on support our friends at Uncle Earl's uh, this weekend, right? So there's a uh, – What's there's... the weather like tomorrow? Perfect, like this. Oh, just saying, like this. If it's like the Tennessee game, I would come here tomorrow. What was wrong with the Tennessee weather? Oh, is it 1,000 degrees? I'm still on the east side, cuz. I'm, oh, I'm like a this. lifer. It's like the weather's going to be like 110 this tomorrow. degrees. In well, the sun, 41 to 10. I was just sitting there yeah, like, tough. what are we getting, doing? You're getting cooked. I did. I had a huge – my forehead's already big, and it was just a fucking idiot cooked. sign right across. It's a five head, huh? It is. It's a five Dude, head. I'm borderline right six head. You and Peyton Manning, yeah. same forehead. <laughs> big brain. Big, yeah, big, big brain. There you go. There you go. Um, but back to the game, right? We were talking about – before we before we started talking about Harold Perkins, I was, I was talking about how creative Lane Kiffin is, right, as an offensive coordinator. When you think Lane Kiffin, you think, damn – all they do, they're going to chuck the ball around. They're going to throw the ball 50 times. No, 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 no. They ran the ball for 400 yards last week Saw that. against Auburn, right, who a team that we had played with and we didn't play very well against them. Now they have two of the top five running backs in the SEC. Their freshman, uh, forget his name, he's a freshman. He's got 700 yards rushing and 10 touchdowns, and their other running back's got 600 with seven touchdowns. Both are averaging six yards a carry. Now what makes Lane Kiffin so good is – he plays to the game plan. Right. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna stop the run, he's gonna run it down your throat. There's my beautiful wife. There she hey. is. Thank you, for supporting us. <laughs> Thank you. Sure Love, you. Sure Love, you. Love, Love you. Love you. Love you a long time. Love you. Um, but he is going to play to the scheme, right? Play to the weakness of the other team. He has a quarterback who transferred in from USC, Jackson Dart, can run it and can throw it. He's prone to some interceptions. He has, I think he has six interceptions on the six. year. Yep. Six, six, right? He has six interceptions on the year. He likes to take some chances. I like that for our defense because uh, we have uh, Makai Gardner is, according to PFF, now, mm. now PFF is uh, worth it. Fake news. They do some things <laughs> good, some things I don't understand. It depends on what you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, it's a pinch. Listen, stats. It's the, it's, it's, the, it's the Fox News of college sports. <laughs> <laughs> PFF, if you're going to go, go off of PFF, he is one of the highest rated cornerbacks in the country, right? Nobody throws at him. Um, we have. I'll have to check the facts. Uh, our safety, Major Burns is not back, right? No, he's, he's not back. He's coming back against Bama. Alabama. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was going to say, that, that kind of raises some concerns for me in terms of just strictly 
that uh, Converse has to play safety when Major yeah. Burns isn't there. Right, but then you have Fouché well, back. Fouché has, is getting more yeah, games. Yeah, but under he's his not belt. your like, like. But in terms of like Ole Miss, he's not your. He will help against the run game. Fouché will. But in terms of like, if you stop the run game, and they go to throwing it around. He's not a very good. He's not very good in coverage. Yeah, Where Major got, Major's more of like neutral to both. He might not be as good as the run at Fouché, but he's a little better in coverage, so he yeah, kind of evens it out. Yeah, but you have a cornerback out. playing safety, and yeah. last time Bernard Converse and, played safety, he played well. And Converse, is, pro- and Converse is probably your best coverage corner whenever he's Mackay there. Mackay he, he, No, he started – I mean, Converse started 40 games. Like, when he was at corner, he yeah, pretty he's much the most experienced, that side. But yeah. Mackay Garner is the highest rated cornerback yeah. according to the statistics on our team right now. Yeah. You know, I – I'm more concerned to start with stopping the run. If you can't stop the run, you're, if, if they're going to run for 400 yards on us, we have no chance. Ball game. Because we I'm won't get the ball early. back. I just don't, I don't have any worries about that. Okay. Tomorrow. Why I not? Don't, I don't think we'll have a problem stopping why, the run. Why not? Why not? Because why? our – dude, Harold Perkins, dude. If, if they leave Harold – Harold Perkins is my favorite player <laughs> that's, that's played on fan. LSU's football team in the last 10 years. You want me to get you that a jersey? Dude, Let me get you yeah, a jersey. Yeah, <laughs> If we can pay that dude and keep him around for three years, he is going to be an animal. Hey, well, you can say that now. He's going to be Devin White. He's going to be Devin White, 2.0 in two years. He, I, I do agree with that. He's going to be Devin White. Because he, and he was a running back coming out of high yeah, school, too. he is. He's, he's, just, he's just that good, dude. He's a freak. He always knows the ball is. He's got a, he's got a knack for f- making a play. You know, I think he's going to have a big game defensively, and I think he's going to – because I think they're going to – because they're going to try to take a shot or do something. I think Ojolari is going to have a big, like, yeah. sack fumble. He's going to have yeah. something – just think of those two, game. dude. We got Harold Perkins and Ojolari. Yeah, oh, we're gonna stop the run. And then you got a man. Then you got a you got a mannequin as the other defensive end, uh, Ali Gay. Yeah, he's, he's like Under Armour man, dude. It's yeah. I mean, animal. I mean, bro, he's, he's big. Much, no, he's yeah. an alien, dude. He's big. Yeah, he couldn't fit through that door. Bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh-uh. he's like six seven. And he's yeah, like. I think I think he'll have a he'll like you know a lot of people saying well where's Ali Gay? He's not doing very much. I think tomorrow you see him make a play. Where it's like, oh, yeah, so he's back. I need I need our I want. I need to see our defensive line, our defensive tackles, the interior part of our defensive line, dominate tomorrow because that's going to that's going to stop their running game. And you you lost your best interior lineman early yeah. in the year. That sucks. And you're starting you start to feel a little bit because the depth isn't that quite there because of the injury. I'd like to see him step up and Josh. be Josh. be the the run stuffing guy because they've been playing better, right? But you know the big against Florida. They stopped the run from the running backs. Since, yeah, but since we don't have a Mason Taylor, or LSU doesn't have a Mason Taylor, it's a oh, Makai Wingo game. Mason, Mason we Smith. Mason we Taylor. do have Mason Taylor. We Mason do have Mason Smith. Taylor. But I feel like uh, Makai Wingo has done a great job of filling in for him. So it's a huge Makai Wingo game because if you see what they do offensively, I only know this because of Caskey's clicker, but the way that they like scheme scheme the run game up, it's a lot of pulling pieces. Very and creative. If you can if you can like study the tape and be able to get in and like fill if gaps you can, early. If, yeah, if you can if you get can get to the point of contact first. Get to before the pulling guard gets yes. there, and you can create basically everything about Havoc. football. Everything about football and scheme is about leverage, right? If you can create leverage, if you can get to the spot before the other guy gets to the spot, you blow the play up. That's if you're doing a lot of pulling and you're doing a lot of creative run schemes, that's how you do it, right? According to I mean, you're right. I'm, I'm agreeing yeah. with Cassie. Uh, he knows more than I do. That's what I'm saying. I just, kinda, like, I just, I just vomit just, whatever he says. I'm just yeah. a fan. Hey, mathematically. Mathematically. Mathematically speaking. Okay. Oh. Love math. The LSU Tigers can still win the SEC. That's uh-huh. listen. That's yeah. true. I talk. Right. I'm an optimist seat. by nature, Me unless too? I'm on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> but My right now, hurt. as we sit, LSU's you. got a damn good chance. And here, we, and we got the hardest games at home. And here's and here's if they would have told you that at the beginning of the year after Florida State, what would you have said? They're gonna lose all this. I'd have jumped off the Mississippi River Bridge with a lead weight attached to my foot. You're, like, you're fucking lying. Uh-uh. And here's what I want to ask you. Yeah. You gotta get hot all the time. Yeah. Exactly. And this is what I want to ask you, right? As as an athlete, right? As a high level athlete. Now, professional golfer. Are golfers athletes? Athletes. They are now. I mean, have you seen the golfers now? They're they're Let's athletic. Go. Yeah, look at you. Ever heard of Bryson me, DeChambeau? Yeah, but you. like, Appreciate obviously, that. you get to the PGA Tour. It's a little yeah. different because like, it's not. It's more about it's all about you. It's not about a team, right? But when you're in college, it's about a team. Like, you have to do things to win to be able to, for the team to win, right? And like, sure. The best thing you can give an athlete or a team as a coach, and we've talked about this, is hope, right? Like hope. Right. If you're going into a game where you there's no hope to do anything, any of your goals, like it's hard to motivate. Away. Absolutely. You bet. But if you can go there and you can say, hey, we have hope. Literally, if we do what we're supposed to do and you we win every game, you everything else. that you want to do, a you new can goal. go. Exactly. Always have a new goal. Exactly. Like, if we win this weekend, we got a new goal. Yeah. Right. We're four and one in the SEC if we win this weekend. You're undefeated in the West. Really undefeated in the, the West. You, you control your you destiny. Win this That's weekend, right. you control your destiny. I'm not telling Sam we're gonna beat them. 
with the atmosphere mm. in the livelihood. Uh, hey, night game too. It's going to be a night game. Night game too. Because Georgia, 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 Tennessee is going to be two thirty. It's going to yeah. be a six thirty game at night in Tiger Stadium. Give us the eight o'clock kickoff. Give us the eight o'clock kickoff. Because you can smell the bourbon. You know why? You can smell the bourbon. You know why eight o'clock kickoff? One, you smell the bourbon. Everybody's got along. Second, because that's daylight savings time always. Yeah. So you get an extra, extra hour in the bars for all the young people who like to go out and party still. You know, if you want to go to. That stage, I've been, yeah. I've been, no, I've, I've been, been like, I'm yeah. past it too, but you know, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, Allie. It's maybe. past old Uncle Nick's bedtime too, so 8 p.m., the longer you keep him up, the angrier he gets. Send the girls home, goes to uh-huh. night out. Yeah, yeah, see? And I've been in Fred's plenty of time where I'm like, damn, it's 2 o'clock, and then I'm like, oh, no, no, it's, it's not. It's only 1 o'clock. I got one more hour left. I got one more hour left, but I. Every bartender's head Nowadays, I'm like, bro, is it too yet? Can we just go home? <laughs> Trying to leave. Dude, Are we worried about special 12? teams tomorrow? Yes. Yo, yeah, yeah. Every week, bro. Yeah, Brian Pullian needs to get his, get his ass out of here. <laughs> like, that, that's a problem. Like, we, we had a problem with him. All right? I don't care how much he loves Anmar sandwiches. I don't care how much he loves Cajun turkey on wheat with Great jalapeno. Jalapenos and pepper jack cheese. you got to get your ass out of here. He's the only coach that Brian Kelly brought, and he sucks the most. Like, get out of here. I'm sick of him. <laughs> hey, you said it. I'm, I'm sick of him. I don't care. Like, I'll say it right here. That's his right. guy. He'll be here next year, maybe like a different role I'm or so something. I'm so sick of that, dude. So well, sick his of that other dude. Ro- we can't catch a punt. Like, how bad does it have to get before you put nobody back there? And even more, before <laughs> you put it, nobody back there. We, like, we talked about, like, like, yeah. 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 talk about last week. We talked about saying, you know what? Uh, let it go. Times, there's times where I was like, if you're on your back, if you're if you're backed up against our own goal line, just let the ball go. Let it go. There's nobody back there. Go go and try to block it. What's what's the point catching it on the five yard line anyway? No. Let, it, let it take a bounce. Who cares? It goes a one, whatever. But I agree. Damn thing's gonna go in the end zone most of the time. And it's a it's a it's a very it's, weird looking ball, so it can bounce any way you want. It could go yeah. the other way. You don't know. Well, that's now, so frustrating. That's Brian exactly Paul, what yeah. would happen. It would bounce back, hit an LSU player that's going running down there, and it's like, oh, okay, uh, okay. Well, that would be nobody's fault. Yeah, it's a calamity of errors. Like, like, but I think, like, it feels like you can't avoid it. At this point. I think what worries me like, more than does it have to get worse. Because it's pretty bad. <laughs> One, Who's that? Two. How many have we? How many kickoffs or punt returns have we fumbled? Four? Three. Five. Three muff. Three muff. How many games have we, we played? We have five fumbles on. Uh, we have three muffs and five fumbles, right? Total. Three five. muffs. We actually got two kickoff and a punt. Malik Neighbors guy. I think we have five. Malik dropped two punts. Punt, three two. lost. Jack fumbles. Bash right. dropped That's a kickoff and a we've punt. Muffed, we've muffed is. five punts. Three of them have been lost. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. So yeah, that is an issue. I think <laughs> another issue. Right. What I'm also worried about is we don't cover anybody on special teams. We gave up a 51-yard punt return last week. We gave up, we gave up, we give up 30, 40-yard kick returns every game. So I don't know what the issue is, but we're not covering anybody. All right. So I, I think, just told you, it's Brian Pulley. Yeah. Somebody, somebody. <laughs> you don't like his yellow like, hat, his gold hat. Do I need to? Do I need it? to put this on? Dry erase board behind you here. Put there. Fire Put Brian Pullian like, for everyone to believe me. Jimmy's or what? and like, Joe's are obviously. If you got two eyeballs and a brain, you know. That's just, <laughs> like that's easy. You make the website firebrianpullian. Yeah, that was the only good part about our team the last two years. You fire that dude, and you bring some monkey in here that doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, Jimmy's and Joe's obviously is some me, part of the problem, Crunch right? He comes here. He's got 37 players on scholarship. He's got to build. Right. That's from the heart. When you're looking back in the day when Saban was here estate. and Les Miles was here. And we were really, really good. <clears throat> and you looked on kickoff. Yep. Michael Clayton's on kick. Like, like the studs play special teams. And right? they wanted the to. The dog. And yeah, they right. wanted to. They were Odell. Trying to, Odell yeah, was Odell, returning right, punts. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you have – you uh, and, and Jarvis we had, was returning We had punts. Danny McCray on a couple weeks ago. Or was it last week? Was it last week? Danny, I think Danny was on last week, last right? Last week. And he came on. He was a – he got to the NFL and he played six years in the NFL because he was a special teams, teams guy. Player, he said, yeah. the most important thing about special teams is wanting – to be there and do it, understanding that this is important. And his whole thing is, he goes, he goes, my, as a return in the return game, oh, yeah, I want that. to try to make it like if I get a ten yard return, that's one less first down that my offense has to get. One hundred percent. That's the goal of the return yeah. game, yeah. right? Yeah. As a it's protecting, numbers. right? Yeah, numbers, just right? The game, moving the ball. I mean, you're a specialist. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. That's it's in. The and day. this is a very important part of the football. Like yeah. you're not. It's not like high school where oh you're on the kickoff return team like. No, like it matters, right? Like in high school, it doesn't really, it's, you know, but in college, like, hey, it Mike, matters. Hey, Mike, get out there and kick off yeah. real quick. Go tackle hey, go, somebody. Go, go down there and run yeah. and just you make sure they don't get by you. back there, and we're just like <laughs> drinking Gatorade back there and picking clovers, you know. Yeah. That's a little have different. You, have you played today? Would you like to get out there? Like, sure, yeah. Get out there, yeah, John. Yeah. yeah. Go run down. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's Ball like, down. <laughs> Jay, so prime example, Jay Mitch and Dan McCray were talking about, he goes, the best special teams guy we had on our team when we were there was this six foot two, 170 pound white kid who was a walk on. 
and he was not the fastest, and he was not the strongest, but he wanted to be there, and he knew that he could play, and he, and he beat everybody down there, and he led the team in special teams tackles. Yeah. Because he wanted to. It wasn't because yeah. he was... Yeah. He knew he it's, wasn't getting in on all the Literally, yeah. the it's only thing was, yeah. it was a mental mindset. It was a mindset that he had to have, and that's, I think that's important. I think that, Absolutely. that to me, that falls on the coaching staff. To, bu- to not, get kids to buy into, yes. I want to be on special teams. Yep. That's yeah, no what doubt. they... And that, that, it goes back to the roster, though. I think, like, when you have a roster that's loaded with, you know, the five stars and the four stars and all the Jimmys and Joes, you're going to have some of those kids on the back end of the roster who, right. you know, right now we're probably struggling with numbers with him taking sure. over. We had 37 players, you know, three sure. years from now. So back to Brian Kelly. I knew he was a good football coach. I really hadn't bought into him a little bit. The video with him talking about I love it. when we go in the swamp, they're going to play this song in the fourth quarter. Love that. And I want all of you Just to know the it. words to it. Because yeah. we're going to be kicking their ass in the fourth quarter. And we're going to sing it. Yeah, and yeah. sing it. Like, I was like, I we love were. that. And we were. At that point, I wanted to go to special teams and go tackle somebody and kill somebody. Right. Yeah. And we've talked about this a lot on the show. Like, It's so refreshing to have a head coach give interviews and be insightful and articulate. Right. And you understand where he's going, and he can tell you, okay, this is our plan. It may not work, but yeah. this is our plan. We have a plan, right? And if it doesn't work... We're gonna make the adjustment at Correct. halftime, and if that doesn't work, then that falls on us. But this is what we win. Like we I can, had that 19 years. I can no, accept 100%. that. We haven't since they've been left. Right. Like I can accept that. If we lose a game and we had this is the game plan we had, and they just they beat us in the game plan that we planned for, I'm good with it. Yeah. But if you don't know what you're trying to do and you're just trying to throw yourself against a wall to stick, but like as your head coach and as your leader, like all these guys, these top guys at Power Five programs, they know football, they know blocking schemes, they know how to do this and how to do that. Seeing him do that, it's yes. the little bitty things, right? Yes. Like he had the, I don't know, he had the, <laughs> he the, went in that he room, had the foresight, and he, correct, and said like, the, like, he thought about we're gonna, they're gonna play this Tom Petty song. It's what they do. It's like Alabama, they turn the lights off, they play Dixieland yeah. Delight, right? Yeah. Tennessee, by the way, do you see Tennessee mm-hmm. hey. play Dixieland Delight yes. over hey, and over hey, and hey, over? That, that little dude, uh, sorry, I, I don't no, want to like interrupt no. your story or nothing, but. That little, that little long-haired mullet guy that was, like, coming out of the yeah. Tennessee. Right <laughs> yeah, now. I like, love dude, that. I watched that video a hundred times. Bro. I love I that. Like, that is the best video on the internet. Oh, we got a lot of energy like, here. My though. kids yeah. were singing Rocky Top on the way to school last week. Like, I was, oh. they were like, can we, can we hear Rocky Top? I was like, sure. Because like, I kind of liked it. I was bro, like, you know, it is Bush, I'm not going to lie. That night, yeah, no, no, I wanted it. to be a Tennessee fan. Oh, no doubt. And I wanted to be in Knoxville, and I wanted to be singing Rocky Top. Like, I want that feeling yeah. again. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. I'm ready for us to be back College in that spot. Yeah. Hey, my, yeah. my, my, beautiful, so, my beautiful wife, she's, I don't know if she's going to hear this, but. No, she's not paying attention she, at all. So, my brother in law, my brother in law's younger brother is the defensive coordinator for Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete Golding, right? All right. So. All right. My brother-in-law is always in our family group text talking about Alabama, we're doing this. And so my little nephew, who's five, every now and then I'll say Roll Tide because, you know, Uncle Josh is talking about the whatever. And so we're trying to get him out of that, right? So my beautiful wife likes to troll a little bit. And Alabama lost. And she started quoting the songs of Rocky Top in our group text. I'm like, I love that. Like, yeah. that's, like dude, that's, what, that's what it should sports. be, right? Yeah. Yeah, now, dude, it is Bush. There's heart in it. Is the yeah, 100%. GoFundMe to pay for the gold? You don't like that? No. no. Why didn't you like that? Because they got billion it's not, billion no, no, they use it as Sure, like a, they have a 1.3 but billion dollar. Yeah, who cares? But if you use it as a, I, I thought it was cool though. If you use it as a publicity stunt, like it's a good do it to something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I thought it was funny. You it had three funny. options, right? You're right. You had a 16. What, what was it? It's yeah, been I guess 16 you're right. years, so 16 dollars. Good marketing. And then yeah. the next one, the next one up was uh, 52. Dollars and forty nine cents is what they yeah. won by, uh, and then the next one was a thousand, whatever it was for. Uh, I don't remember what the last one was for. Symbol it, the attendance, one hundred and six thousand or whatever. I thought it was great. No, you're right. I you're thought right. it was great. You're right. Like, you're right. Now they I don't think they're actually using that to spend. If they're if they're actually using that for the payment of the goalposts, like no. if you're using that to do something else, no. like okay, Dude, no. every school yeah. in the country would be happy to write a check for two fifty yeah. a week no if you beat number one. Hell and you yeah. tear no the goalposts out. And I saw I saw something like. They rushed the the, the uh, basketball court when they beat Florida. That was their first fine, and then they got fined 100 grand for this one, or 150 grand, whatever it was. And then, and then, and then the next one's 250 thousand yeah, dollars. It, it gets higher and higher. Oh, yeah. LSU went through like, this. But that's gonna happen. Yeah. That's gonna happen this year. Yeah. Like, well, gonna, I think 
Let's go. Yeah, where they, they beat Georgia, where maybe. They play Georgia yeah. at Georgia. Yeah. Georgia's at Athens. Uh, yeah. Maybe they still rush the field. Yeah. 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 Screw it. They might rush it at the SEC championship. <laughs> sure, they're opposed to yeah. it. Take their field goal, folks. Make them pay for it. How about they march They march it out the stadium, and they go throw, throw it, it in, in the, the river. river. <laughs> in the river. Like, you can't even, like, you can't take it down and put it back up. It's no. gone. It's gone. in the river. Yeah, unless you want to go fish out the river. Like, and you're, that's going to cost you more money to go and do that. Yeah. Now, the more impressive thing, obviously everybody knows how good Alabama is. The last 15 opponents – that have beaten, or the last however many opponents that have beaten Alabama at home have rushed the field. Yeah. That's true. I mean, that's, actually, that's something about your Alabama's program. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's, that's my point. point. I like, saw a tweet. It was like, yeah. you know, when y'all beat us, y'all rush the field, tear the goalposts down. But when we beat y'all, it's just another Saturday. That's it. Right. You know, I and, saw that. and that's, and that's, what, that's where they are. And that's what they've done, right? Now, they're going to be in a bad spot when Saban leaves because their expectations are outrageous. Oh. Yeah. And I feel bad for the coach who's going to follow All up. right, that's, that's my next question. It's, it's who's gotta the next be coach? Dabo, it's got to be Dabo Swinney, right? See, I think, Brian I, Kelly. I, think, I think that – He's a saving up protege. He's gotta yeah, be he's Dabo Alabama Swinney. guy. Who, who wants to follow I think him there? I think, I think defensive coordinator, coordinator now – Money speaks, bro. It's Money, like, it's going to be a huge contract. And if you're you get right, bought now, out, who you cares, are gonna, right? You are going to yeah. fall into a situation where you have a bunch of talent. Like, you're going to fall into a situation. When he retires, it's not going to be because Alabama is bad. He's going to retire because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm too old to do this. So you're going to fall into a situation where the guys are actually – they have a good team. Now it's a matter if you can get those guys to buy into you and not save in, and it's not going to be diff- Didn't be different. Didn't he just sign a huge deal, like a 10-year deal? Yeah, he extended again because every time another coach gets an extension, it's, he's contractually obligated to be the highest-paid coach in, ah. in college football. So it's not always an extension. That, you know? They just renegotiate every Bro, single speaking, time. Well, it's, I mean, it's well-deserved, obviously. Yeah, no, no doubt, no well, doubt. To like, tell you how much money enough. these guys are making now, right, I, I was in school 2003. I was a senior, and Saban won the natty. In his contract, he had to become the highest-paid coach at the time. And at the time, it was Bob Stoops at a million, a million dollars a year. Right. Analysts, I mean, like, dude, right. like, all yeah. kinds of coordinators making like one point six nine. Head coach is making our seven, eight million dollars a year. Making more than yeah. That. yeah, golf coach. Close. 20, twenty years. Ago, that was twenty years ago. Yeah, twenty yeah. years ago. Not that the, long ago. Yeah. The highest paid college football coach made one million dollars. One. Now it's what fifteen, fourteen, something like that. Oh, so what is like saving that. getting I mean, paid? Shit, Brian I mean, Kelly's, Kelly's like getting paid. Yeah, right. He's getting ten for ten. Ten. Yeah, ten, that's a lot ten of money to coach football. That's a lot of money. And then when you get fired, bro, like O said, where's the dope? Give me seventeen million. I'm right. Yeah. He's gonna take one year off. Right. And then go coach somewhere else. Hey, I'll tell you what though. You last know? week, last week on the show on Friday, right? I'm, obviously, I'm not a sharp. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a average, Joe. probably a below average, better, better. To be honest with you. <laughs> I think we I all mean, are. Probably be like, like I'm not, whatever. But, a bunch but of Joes I do here. like. I texted you. I was like, I liked, I liked the line against Kentucky. I like the Kentucky plus four. I doubled down on it at one. Right? I just, I don't buy. I'm not bought into Mississippi. But what I did like, Stanford was playing at Notre Dame. Right? Stanford was one and five. But they play a boring brand of football, and Notre Dame's scuffling. And I was like, and then I saw the video of, oh, yeah, in Notre Dame gear. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. They I'm like, them up. they're not going to win. Like, it's just like, to me, it just <laughs> didn't feel like good aura, and they lost. They lost. And they lost. To, they lost a bad football team. A bad football team. But I just, felt, I just felt like that was, like, one of those things where, like, this guy's just going to, this team's going to bore you, be boring, and they're going to lull you to sleep, and you're just not in a bad. Now, grass ain't always green. Everybody wanted Brian Kelly to get out of there. I think they'd want him back right now. They would take would they take it back? Absolutely. One hundred percent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just they're fans, that's what fans do. You know, they, they don't you're not there anymore, we don't like you, that's just the way it works. But I'm happy to have him. I think we're gonna be going back to your point about Brian Kelly, I think that he sets LSU up for a really good no, I think, season. Next year I think next year, if they finish the season if they beat Ole Miss tomorrow. That's so such a huge game, man. Such I, a big is. question. But I think that they I, Tomorrow's I, a big game. Huge, huge game. It's, it's kinda beat, where you were with Tennessee, honestly. If they beat Ole Miss tomorrow, it is realistic to think that, like, there's only one team left on the schedule that you, LSU's not gonna going be to be underdogs against. Yeah. What's, that's what that, What's that? that? That's what I'm saying. That's why I love I haven't I love checked it in a while. Right now. Right. We, what are you, you know, asking? We've, 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 Bama line. we've probably played our hardest now. game. I already bet it. Obviously, I think Tennessee's the best team to go to. I don't care if they're ranked three. Like, they have the best win. Yeah. They have the best win. They have played the hardest schedule. People are talking about – about Georgia beating Oregon first week, who cares? Yeah, who cares about that? Dude, they've Oregon, won five in a row. They've won five. They're in the top. They're, dude, know, Oregon, that's what Oregon I'm saying. Though, yeah. but 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 Tennessee right, has the best win. Don't they? Absolutely. Doesn't no Tennessee have the best X. win? Why aren't they the best team in the country? 
right? Right. How, how do you put Georgia in front of them? You have a Heisman, you have a Heisman contender quarterback. Yeah. You have a, probably the Heisman front runner probably at quarterback yeah. for you. You're undefeated. You've just beat the number one team in the country. Like this you is, should be. This is why I hate preseason polls. That's the only reason. Exactly. Right. See, See that, that's why the that's why the uh, the college football playoff rankings don't come out until, until late, late October. Yeah. Because of this be right two. here. Because right now it doesn't matter. TCU. Right. The Horn Frogs. Yeah. Syracuse ha- undefeated. Probably have the easiest route to the playoff right now. TC Horn Frogs. They've already beat both Oklahoma schools. All right, they beat Oklahoma okay. State, who, in my opinion, was I love you. hands down the best Big 12 team. I was there at that game last week. That was pandemonium yeah. for the what private school at game? TCU. Oklahoma State TCU. Hey, TCU's oh, nice. quarterback's good though. He's Dude, awesome. Du- du- Big old Dugan? dude, Duggan? Max Duggan. Max Duggan. Duggan. And now, now they just got to beat Texas at Texas. That's it. If right. they do that, they're in. They're, they're in. in. Yeah. They're the Big 12 champions. They're in. They're now, Texas the is favored by like seven and a half points, I saw. Against TCU? Are they playing today? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. This is in three weeks. Who's play, Texas playing Oklahoma State today. Right. And Tonight? Texas, Texas went, the line went from Texas minus two or two and a half to Texas minus seven and a half. Wow. Against a damn good Wait, Oklahoma what, State. Wait, did you say the line went? Dude, Dude Oklahoma State went from two and a half like to 30. Texas favored by two and a half to Texas favored by, I think, six and a half is what I saw on the website you gave me. You sent me. Spencer Sanders is damn near 30 years old. <laughs> Oklahoma State's quarterback. Is he? What do you do? Yeah, Tennessee he's like 26. Tennessee something. quarterback's 24. Yeah. Isn't he, oh, is he? Over 24? Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, that think, matters, bro. Hey, you think Jay Johnson let me come play? Yeah. For the Tigers? <laughs> hey, hey I, can, I can play no, four more years. To be honest man. with you, I can hit, I can throw. Hey, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I can crack the way. I don't know if I could crack the line. That's how good they're supposed to be. Break a bat, break a club. Break a shoulder out. They're known to break a putter or two. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, my femur's going to crack a bat out. Yeah. They get all made. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, you, got, you got a broken leg. Hey, you got to commit to it, Cody. If you're going to try to break the wood bat over the leg, you got to commit to it. Have you, you broken one over good. your knee yet? I've done one. Not, not a Marucci. The little flimsy axe. You got to go ash. a little bit. You got to go a little bit close to the handle, right? Yeah, and you like, can't do maple. Yeah. If you're breaking a maple over your over your knee, I don't want any part of you. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's a psycho move. That is. That is one. That's Bo Your leg hurts, and two, like. How did you do that? Because yeah, I don't know. Wooden bat. I mean, you're hitting 103 mile hour fastballs off your hands, and some of those hot bats don't break. Like, mm, you're yeah. a psychopath if you're doing that. I don't want any part of you. No part of you. But um, it is this week. Tomorrow's a big game, huge game. I am. I am very confident. Obviously, I'm very optimistic. But if you go and win Can't that game, like you have again. a the chance to do everything you want to do, and that's all you can ask for. It's to put. And if you do do that, and you end the season strong. It, the timeline may not be three years. It may be next year because the number one, they have a top five recruiting class coming in the country. You're going to kind of replenish. You're going to have some guys, a lot of guys that you have on the team coming back. Your offensive line's all coming back. So Two years, not next year, year yeah. after. Right. We get but, coming back. We get but, Mama coming back here. Yeah, but if you finish strong, man, you just have I momentum. Love your a lot of no, momentum. I'm, all about yeah, I'm not saying eight. national championship. I'm not even saying playoff. I'm saying 10 win season next year is in the, no, no. In the, and you can pick 10 and 2 players. is possible. Hey, we're Dude. talking about total wins for a season. When we teed off this year, Vegas had LSU at six and a half. Yeah, I know. I that got was at the seven. Money of all time. I took on over seven. Over. I wish I got. I'll six be honest, and a half. man. After the first game, though, like we talked about it on the show. Like, yeah. after the, I, I thought the Florida State game was going like kind of. We still got the UAB. Year. There's yeah. one. So I mean, no, we, we just got to win one game. If we win this weekend. The six and a half is a winner. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah, see, I'm gonna, I'm uh, the push is in play for me. Seven, seven, seven's a big difference. Six and a half, seven. The, the, half, yeah. Yeah. the hook's yeah. always gonna get you, bro. At this point, what the hook gonna be? You know what I mean? It's gonna get you all the time. Yeah. But, but six and a half was what? easy. That's in the song. Okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Dude, but, weather's going to be perfect tomorrow, huh? Perfect. Mm-hmm. A lot of tailgating. Going to leave the house tomorrow at like 10 a.m. What is the weather? What are you talking about? The yeah. high is 82. Ooh. Wait, you well, late? I mean, uh, uh, we have women at the house uh, that I have to get ready. You know how that oh, works. Oh, Allie's going to be, dude. What time are you saying you're leaving? No, we're leaving at 10. I already told her. I got over 10 I, for oh, whatever you want. I, uh, I set over the guidelines. <laughs> I said, I, well, there's actually 10, there's actually three girls that are at my house that are playing on 8.30. That don't take longer than Allie. 10.35 is your departure probably. Allie, you hear that? She's not, she's not listening to you. She's not listening. She exactly. doesn't care. Exactly. Point proof. She don't care. Um... All right, let's uh, hey, make I it for you. kickoff. Hey, he said 10. He's not leaving no her. No chance. Promise. He, he might. Sit in that I'm leaving her. Until she I'll walks outside. I'll leave her. We I'll talked her. about this. You said you wouldn't because of the hey, other Lord, implications. How long you got on that stash, bro? Oh, how, I'm 30, probably five, six, seven, like eight years. Eight years. Oh, yeah. Look, I can't grow any facial hair, and I look kind of like – I looked worse without it, to be honest. So I looked, I kept it getting carded, and it was a whole big deal. I was like, I'll just grow a mustache, and it went from like, my pedophilia went kind of down actually, because I was just like it's a not bear. allowed within two hundred yeah, feet of a school. school. <laughs> I told you that. Um, I think the first thing, 
the hair and the, the stash have to go off together, right? right. I if won't you, let him in my front door of my house. He's not walking in my house. If you shave the stash, <laughs> if, you sh- babysit your kids. <laughs> if you shave the mustache, the mullet's got to be cut too, right? Absolutely. They go, they go hand in hand, Yeah. Right? Okay. As long as we... As long as you're good, you can't shave the mustache. You can't shave the, the uh, cut the hair and keep the mustache. You can't shave the mustache to keep the hair. See, I did. If LSU beats Bama, stash and Muller are gone. See, I was gonna say national championship. No, 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 no I don't. Want, actually, no. Not this LSU, year, just that's whatever sure. it better. happens. Better, no, better, better. If LSU beats Bama, I want you to come back with cornrows. I don't want you to shave it. I want you to corn, put cornrows. I'll go Bronson yeah. Arroyo. Because that's doable. And yeah, right. Go right back to your mullet. Yeah, I heard with it. With the hurts. beads, I want the beads at the end too. Absolutely, I'll go full Bronson Arroyo. Yeah, 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 that's what I want. All right, good. It's a deal. Deal. All right, Bet. Shake on it. Air shake. There, there you go. All right. All right. Deal. Uh, LSU's in a good spot. Saints not so much. Oh, my uh, God. Coach, I was excited. I was like, man, okay, we have the red rifle. They're gonna... Listen, I'm at, this, I'm at the Astros the game. I'm at the, I'm at the Houston Astros game yesterday. I'm not even paying attention to the game. I look at it. I'm like, oh, shit, the Saints are playing. I got to check the score. Check the score. It was 14 14- Six, I think, Saints. Yeah, 14 6 us. Right? Yeah. And so then I'm like, all right, we're, no touchdowns. No, they, they did score. They t- scored one for two. Yeah, they scored one for 14, two. 14 14. Yeah. So it was no touchdowns. So then I look at it again, three minutes later, 28 14. We're 28 14. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. And I can two tell picks, you what happened. Two pick sixes in a row, that's not, never good. Andy Dalton should up, be up until the first pick six, the Saints, the, Dominated. Saints, the Saints had outplayed, and I had the Cardinals. Saints had outplayed the Cardinals. And then the first pick six was literally in his hand. Like it was the receiver's fault. Marquez like Callaway. In his oh, hands. Oh, see, I didn't see it. Oh, it that's what happened? Up. Yeah, Damn. first one was perfect. Callaway hits his hands, pops up. They return it. We get the ball back. Trying to go get three real quick. Another pick six. Maybe no, the video. What. I was about to say. You want to say? You, you, I'll give you credit for it. I was going to say, maybe the best my, front was, flip of all time. So what? The video. The front flip of Bob. Pat McAfee posted a video. He goes, this, this is the coolest video I've ever seen. And it was. Andy Dalton walking like this. Super dejected. Super dejected in the background. It was like in the 4K. It was the guy having the pick six, diving and flipping in the end zone. It was like in slow-mo. I'm like, damn, that's actually a really sick picture, but it sucks for me. It's like, <laughs> Andy see, Dalton. He's like, damn, this Dude, stinks. I'll say this much. Like, Andy, you're, are you a, you're a Cowboys guy. No, I'm not. He's a I'm DCU not. guy. I'm definitely not. Definitely not a Cowboys okay. guy. Do not like the city of Dallas. No. Uh-uh. Also, they're not the Dallas. They're the Arlington Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> but... Andy Dalton, dude. Andy Dalton has, has been milking the NFL for 12 years. Andy Dalton, so is Chase. Uh, I was going to say, if you're Chase Dan, one, he Chase has Daniel. been holding a clipboard. He has had the best deal ever for 12 years. He, that dude is trash. Oh. Yeah. He, he should be working at a taco truck. Four touchdowns last night. Back behind night. Uncle Earl's on Friday there. nights. Like, Andy Dalton is not a well, good Well, here's the next question. Is Dennis Allen it. done after this year? Do we get Sean Payton back? No. Does Sean Payton say, okay, no. DA, I gave Sean you an Payton opportunity. Will co- no, Sean Payton will be coaching going. somewhere else. He's going to be coaching the Arlington Cowboys. Co- <laughs> Agreed. 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 That's where he's he going. might be with the Arlington Cowboys. Agreed. Yeah. And you know what? If he's going to go coach anywhere, I know people say, I don't want him to go to Dallas. I want him there. You know why? Because we have to trade him. We still own him. So Dallas has resources to give us back. We don't have a first-round pick. You know why? Because we traded our best nickel that's corner right. to the Phil- to that's Philadelphia, right. and we they took our first-round pick. No, that's not what happened. It was the Trevor Pinning deal on draft day. Oh, that's right. That's right. Well, that was close enough. That was, yeah. Well, they still took our he best nickel. Story. They, took, they, took, they, took, our on, best, they still took our best nickel guy and our first-round <laughs> pick. So we all have a first-round pick. Facts that's right. right. You're right. Yeah, my bad. I'm no just facts throwing emotional takes here. That's all I'm doing. Right? But Dennis Allen, like, you can't – you fell into a gold mine of a team. You have the bet now. All of our receivers have been hurt. Like I don't know what the deal is. The last two years, you can't keep anybody healthy. But our defense is the best. It's probably the Saints have ever been. Supposed to be. Defense, supposedly, right? And you came into a team that had a culture already built in, and you're two and five. And good how, news for them is the NFC South. Stinks. Yeah, but you got to get hot. Like yeah. you had to win last night to like. Nah, last night was really big feel game. like you like had a chance. When but you, did you see where Alvin Kamara talked in front of the room? As he's, this is the first year he's been named the captain for the Saints, which probably obviously very warranted, but he's taking that role to heart. He's not a big talker. He talked in front of the room after the loss. He said, look, 
this losing shit hey, that y'all are getting accustomed to, huh? this isn't the safe leg. I'm not I sure. Love that. He's like, ahead, a lot of new faces yeah. in the room. He's like, don't make this a habit. It feels like y'all are getting used to this. I've never lost in my life. Like, for as long as I've been a professional, this is not the same way. And so he's trying to bring back that culture a little bit. Me too, because somebody has to say something. You don't have a quarterback as a leader because they're rotating door. You don't know who to get used to. And so it's, it falls on Alvin because you have no Michael Thomas. You have no Jarvis Landry. Tyron Matthews is a shell of himself at this point. It really is on Alvin. It, it's on. It's on Alvin, and one you need to get everybody healthy. Like you need to get. But that's the same old trope for the same. But you do like you have yeah, three of your like lot. now you have a lot of his back, and he played very well. Obviously, like, he's he got stuck. concussed again, but I think he yeah. kind of shook that one off. He's a stuck. I didn't I think it's a yeah. lot. I think it's a. He got slammed down on the sidelines. It was a little woozy. Walked on the field. Walked off the field. They grabbed him. He's Jesus. back next series. But you know you happen. need. You need to get. No Jameis back. <laughs> You need to get Michael Thomas back, and I think that they're all. I think next week they're all be back. I think it's. I think it's enough. Like ten days, they're all gonna be back. I don't. I just want them to be good because I like going to Superdome and I want it to be. I want there to be rocking, and they haven't been. So I don't know. Um, I mean, nobody takes a loss like LSU or the Saints, where it's so different when the Saints win, as opposed like oh, you know, there's something for that. <laughs> there all right, go. here we go. But whenever you leave, like, the, the St. Superdome and they win, there's beers flying around everywhere. Yeah. Like, music's playing outside. When they lose, it's like a haunted house. You're like, get me the fuck out of yeah. town, no, dude. It's, it's not. And it's LSU's not. the same way where people are just upset. You're just like, I'm not talking to anybody. That's the passion of South Louisiana, right. and that's, what, that's why. Wins. It, yeah, you got to have some wins. And it's just, it's just very disappointing. And you know we know have I mean? that um, – Bet with combined Saints wins and LSU wins. Yeah, LSU's carrying their weight. Oh. They need to keep carrying. They need, they need to get me about nine. It was at eight, but then the total between – I took the Saints. Total between the Saints and LSU is over and under 14 and a half. You're drawing dead. I know. Saints are uh, fucked. Yeah, no, Saints done. have to get hot. Seven, if LSU, if LSU eight, 17 games Saints can't schedule. finish. If, include Saints, if LSU finish. wins eight games, Saints can win seven. Does that so include a bowl game? Win. Huh? Does that include a bowl game? Or no, no, no. All regular no, it's season. just they regular play? season. Nah, I don't think 17. Game, so you got – so they're, they're, they're one and five – they're two and five? Seven and eight, your hope. So they got to win. They have Unless nine. LSU can get to eight. Yeah, that's what I mean. LSU if they get eight, eight, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. And eight, 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 eight would hit my they over fire Andy LSU, Dalton, you know what I mean? They got to get Andy Dalton in the taco truck. That would be a good situation right yeah, there. he needs to be working for curbside. Uh, <laughs> I could crush a curbside Ooh, I love some right curbside. Yeah. Or some, a Doe's burger would be really good. Have you ever had a burger from Doe's? I had a curbside slider today at U Club on number 17. It was good. And my God. What would you make on 18? Cool. Birdie. See? Hey, ask him how he ask him how he finished around today. I'm sure it was something golf ridiculous. He's playing from the member tees. Hey, oh, come you on. son of a bitch. Oh, oh, like that. Like like I'm like like you're throwing me soft pitch for the softball <laughs> from, the, from the mound. Like it's so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's Your club's almost harder from those tees. It is. You're running so much trouble. Right, yeah. yeah. You're going to yeah. pampas grass yeah, on every, every hole. The <laughs> pampas. The pampas. The pampas. You yeah. can't. The pampas. I know you know what the pampas grass is. I've played many times in the pampas. How did you finish around today? Oh, we. We just made six in a row on the last six. It's was not a big all, deal. Was it all six in a row means six birdies in a row. Four-man yeah. scramble? Yeah. Was it a scramble? Yeah, but they were, they were all beat. <laughs> it was just beat. It was 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 beat. We didn't beat. win, though. We didn't win. Oh, we no. Somebody Any happy Gilmores? We got beat by a couple of slap nuts from uh, New Iberia, I think. They were, they, were wearing, they were wearing white belts. They were 300 pounds plus, about 5'6". When they shot. Like, these fuckers didn't 50. shoot. 50. No. Yeah. 50? <laughs> there is not a 50 out there. Exactly. There's That's no what I'm saying. Like, like, I'm not trying to, like. Yeah. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but you yeah, better than that. If we went out there and I was like, hey, y'all want to go play one hole for a million dollars, we would have won by 10 on one hole. Yeah. Like these dudes, there's 50. no way they should. they got 50. Made them scrambles or something over there. Scrambles something. or something, dude. Yeah. They're, they're, right. they're going to go on the field. Of, hey, they're going to go on the field at Tiger Stadium tomorrow and get recognized. Oh, really? And, oh, yeah. The winner of that thing goes out there tomorrow and does all that. Wait, we got to regulate this thing a little bit more wow. than if they yeah. get all of these perks. No, bro, we play, I need caddies there. If that's the case, like, we played. They it was need a, a scorekeeper for each yeah. group, is what they need. Yeah, yeah. We played one time. K Wayne was with us. I think it was me, David, and K Wayne. It might have been four man. And, dude, we hit it good. We shot like 16 and like. Didn't leave any shots out there. We're like, bro, we got a shot to win. Y'all got war out. 21 1. Yeah. <laughs> got 16. <laughs> like, there. bro, yeah. like, we, David can play. I'm yeah, decent. I can play. You know, 
We shoot Dude. 16, and we're like, bro, we got we got a shot to win this thing, you know? Five. Sure. 21. We weren't even close. We weren't even in the running. 21. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's an epidemic. It's when people do. You know, scramble. It's not like you plant, you know? Okay, here's a, here's a, here's hey, a, we did raid the equipment room though at LSU Golf House, dude. I got I got more tees than I'll ever need. <laughs> look at that, look at that, I got more tees than I'll ever need. Look. Hey, here's it. here's my now. There's a there's here's my question. Who lies? Legs gotta hurt. What's what's the biggest what's the biggest tees, lie? Yeah, absolutely. Then we had this question. What's the biggest lie? You said how long you can drive it. Uh, it was like uh, it was like your forty time. Then we had this on the. No, we, we talked about it on air, right? Like. Who talks about this? Like, uh, and it's uh. Okay, yeah, can you dunk? You know? No, it wasn't that. It I was. Don't know. It was like uh, it was. How far can you drive it? Your forty time, and then it was slow. like slow, Not and slow, then it yeah. was uh, your handicap or something like. Like an like an all around athlete. Yeah, like who lies the most about these particular things? things you know, like as yeah. far as like casual. I would say driving you know, a golf ball. True yeah. Driving, yeah. Yeah, you carry distance. Carry distance for sure. It's like, well, yeah. Like, like how low, far do you run. carry it? Because right? yeah. right. most most average golfers, they are always short, right? They're always short of the green because they don't know how far they carry it. They're like, oh, it's two hundred yards. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hit a five. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're, gonna, <laughs> you're gonna hit a five iron two hundred yards. yards. Yeah, yeah. five iron two hundred yards. You get them on a the track, man. They carry it one seventy four. On a good one. On a yeah, like, that cured it. Twenty six yards short, bro. <laughs> that is what? What is that, man? That's a hundred feet. Yeah, you can't, you can't be on the driving range because you know why? You hit the ball and the ball bounces and it bounces right. and it bounces and it's going to give like you 30 extra yards. baseball probably, like these dudes, they don't. Oh, dude, they, listen. They come I, in and they think they're, they're hitting, you know, extra, extra velocity is what, 100, 100 miles an hour? No chance. Yeah, no, right. Like, no. Here's the deal. I, was, I went to, a, I went to a, the U.S. Army um, underclassmen combine, right? And you're in there and I'm sitting there and, like, there's guys like Andrew Luck, like all these dudes that when I was in high school, they're my age, and – you have to run the 40. You have to do it's like a whole combine thing. So I'm sitting there and like I had trained for the 40. Like I was, it was kind of a big deal. So like I would want to be ready. I'm asking all these guys like, like everybody's talking like, hey, what do you run the 40 in? I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm hoping I can run like a 4.6, four, 4.5. Four, you know? And I was like, what do you run? Oh, I run a 4.3. What do you run? Oh, I run a 4.4. Four, four. I'm like, what do you run? I run a 4.3. I'm like, no fucking way. All of you run. You know how many people run four threes and four fours? Nah, not man. you. Harold Perkins. Yeah. Harold yeah. Perkins. Not you. You That's know it. what they ran? Four sevens and <laughs> yeah, four eights. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah, you don't, you're, yeah. you're not even close. You hey, know what I mean? On, like, dude. Can you call Stringfellow and get him a Harold Perkins jersey for tomorrow? Dude, I, I need, I got, a, I need I a 40 jersey. I need a 40. Signed, too. I need Signed. It. Had you yeah. won the scramble, we could have gotten you that. Yeah, had you won uh, the hey, field. Hey, guys, I know string, all right? We'll be all right. Listen, <laughs> I mean, 50. Don't y'all act like you're the only ones that know Actually, string. Actually, y'all are golfers. <laughs> they played the, the President's Cup, right? Oh, professional 50? golfer, right? John Pearson, a professional been, golfer. Former. Former. His team, would y'all shoot? 51. 51. Mm. You would think that win. And we got Somebody beat. shot a 50. I was heavy? No way. Shit. Oh, Carson. Carson good, too, dude. Okay, he was good, dude. He, what do you think yeah. about that? I'd say he carried us. He did. He did. Yeah. Until the last six. <laughs> Until it mattered. Yeah. <laughs> Shit got real. No. Uh, Until the money got No, he right. didn't know Chuck. He didn't play on the same team. Same. Yeah, Chuck came in. That's right. He said 51. He's like, there's no way. He's like, he cheated. He's like, yeah, there's no way. He said the guys who did it were like. They were from Not, so not athletes. Yeah. They were, they were from Not Tibidos. golfers. They stopped at Karshner's before they got here. Yeah. yeah. They're <laughs> from Tarbone Pirates. Yeah. yeah, cheating. 50 sound good. Can't 50 wait. sound good. Yeah. They, they filled their scorecard nice out in the second hole, got. bro. They were you know like, yeah, that like, looks good. Can't wait to the game tomorrow. Circle, 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 ain't nobody beating a 50, a tour guy. Hey, not, hey, nobody. Hey, nobody even clapped for him. Nobody yeah. even clapped for him. They were like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Did they win anything outside of being a, being announced on the field? Because everybody, yeah, they're being announced. Like, no, outside of that, do they get like money or anything? No, I don't okay. think so. But sweet they, they got like a badass trophy. And, and <laughs> Shit that I wanted. They're on, the they're on the field. Like that's worth more than anything. Like that's pretty damn cool. Yeah. If they say their name on Maybe the field. Maybe that's worth cheating for. I guess so. You know what I mean? Like. I guess so. I'm you put your name. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna boo their ass tomorrow. Uh, that's, bro. that's a little. <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo. I hope they announced like they they won the the scramble with a 50, and everybody was like, "No, you didn't." They, they <laughs> said the score like, "No, you did you're not." They're like, "What little waving like this?" Yeah, yeah no shot. Oh, um, you'll, 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 you'll hear yeah. twenty two under. You'll hear every weekend golfer go, "No this dude's fucking good way!" Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no shot. Are y'all watching baseball? Are y'all paying attention to baseball? I know no. you're probably not anymore Hell, no. now that no, dude, nah, I, Gosman's I, you know, out. You know I'm a baseball guy. I like, like postseason baseball. Um, I hate regular season. love postseason baseball. Tell you what, I got you. pretty good. The Braves? The Rangers. Oh, the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Rangers are great. Yeah. You got uh, an LSU guy there. Oh, the Rangers. That's right. That's right. 
How they do ballpark? Uh, they spent five hundred million dollars on their middle infield. They didn't do very well this year. The huh? Ballpark's awesome. Over ballpark there. is great. But, Nothing uh, tops the ballpark. They're, they're at terrible. They're not terrible. very good. Horrible. Um, cool uniforms. Though. I was at the game last night. The atmosphere. Astros, how was the atmosphere? The atmosphere was unbelievable. Right. The the the, the dome was open. It was like oh, yeah, weather we was perfect. The dome was open because the Yankees bitched about it all night. And that's my yeah, next question. Boom. I was like, hey, dude, yeah. you play in an open air stadium, right? Like. They have the option, the home team has the option of saying, I'm going to close the dome or keep it open. They decide to keep it open. Don't complain. When you have a short porch in right field, don't complain that your guy who leads the league in home runs came up short because the wind, the, the dome was open and the wind blew. So? That's a, isn't that the whole point of home field advantage? So soft, you have the op- yeah. opportunity yeah. to do that soft. Yeah, right? soft. Hey, you know what? Maybe if you would have scored more than two runs. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you'd win if you just maybe score, more runs. You score more runs. Yeah. Like that's the whole object of it. But but the atmosphere in the stadium was unbelievable. Bregman, three run, three run homer in the fourth, and then that was in it was three to two. Yankees scored two in the bottom in the top, uh, top of the fifth. Their pitcher kind of shit fucked a couple ball. Uh, this, actually, two errors <laughs> in one play. Fumbled the ball, threw the ball away, and then you got two ground out RBIs, and that's really it. But tell you what, play off. You, you went full Devin Fontenot. I mean. I tell you what, I love Alex Bregman. It, not <laughs> that hot sauce that he has. Who's that? It's not good. I love Alex Bregman, but that Breggy Bomb sauce he has is terrible. Bad. It's not good. Yeah, it's horse. I haven't ass. tried it. It's Link, bad stuff. Links in the bio. Not good. <laughs> not good. Hey, you don't speak your opinion that much, huh? No. No, I mean, yo, I just it's brought it. I love it. I love that. Facts. Y'all want, make, you want me to go to the bathroom and just spit fucking dog shit, or you want me to come up here? No, and I want you to be you. I want you to be you. Hey, I'm doing me. Be you. Cheers to go Tigers. But. I've never tried it. Hot I don't know. I can't shit. vouch for it one way or the hey, other. Look, this he is threw a homer. Pretty expensive. If he's I a, thought yeah. about buying it, I'm not gonna buy it. Right. Way better than our, our setup. Here. He's a very good. He's a very good baseball player. He had a three-run homer. They're up two nothing. The Yankees are. I mean, the Astros are the Yankees' daddies, bro. They the Yankees can't beat them. Yeah. Very. Even if the Yankees cheating, not cheating, you just can't beat them. Uh, Yankees are hated by a lot of people. When you play baseball and you're in the postseason, every out, every run, every base. Every hitter matters, right? Yeah. Like, you can't just say, oh, I'm just going to go out there, I'm going to try to hit homers and strike out. Like, that just doesn't – over the course of the season, you can have a good year. That, But when you get to the playoffs and everything's magnified and it, it gets put into this microscope, cannot do that, right? And you're seeing that. Teams that are actually playing good baseball, that are getting guys on and putting pressure on teams, they're winning. And uh, the Yankees haven't done that all year. They led the league in homers or whatever, but they strike out a ton and they struggle with butt. They go back to New York. Maybe they can steal a couple there and make it a make it a series. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. It's best of seven, huh? The series best of seven. Best of seven. Yeah. They're gonna get two, two, one, one, one. No. No. Two, three, three, two. NBA, old two, NBA, two, three, two. They're gonna get Garrett Cole, so that'll probably. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Garrett Cole's pitching against the Astros. The Astros know everything about him. So. Oh yeah, they do have all on camera of when Garrett Cole was throwing too. <laughs> the trash cans are back. Is that what you're saying? No, Who's I'm going saying they're going tomorrow. Cole and who? I don't know if Cole's pitching tomorrow, but I know he's going to pitch one of the next two games. So. I would say when they did have the trash games, they have that all in video when Javier Cole was throwing. Okay. Yeah. So. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you just have to. You're going back to New York. You ha- they have to. If they want any chance, they have to win. Must win they have yeah. to win. I think um, they do. Huh? I think they win. Maybe they win. Maybe. They're going to get it to 2-2. Two, two. Okay. That's, that, I hope so, because that makes, that makes for better baseball. Then you got the NOLA Bowl. With uh, Austin and Aaron playing against each other, Austin got the best of Aaron in the first game, or the first uh, last game really. Base RBI base uh, single took the uh, cut it to four to three, and then ended up making it six four in that inning. And then the, the I've never... coach, that series for me is the best series of. That's the most intriguing series because both teams have unbelievable. I think they're getting kind of getting overlooked, but both teams have unbelievable talent on, on them. So I. And look, I want my friends to go. I'm thinking about if they do make it back to San Diego. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna try to go to Game Seven. Nola call, Allison called me and said he has. He, he gave me two tickets. Game Seven. If they, Chavez Ravine. I'm in. Well, Allie let go? you go. Well, Allie let you yeah, go. Yeah, we already talked about it. All right, cool. Yeah, you're, you're in. Leslie don't care. I'm Let's in. go. He skipped the haunted house on Thursday. I skipped the haunted house to go to the Astros game. Thank God I hate haunted. I, yeah. I, has, I want no part of that. I've been to that haunted house. It's a good haunted house. I want no part of that. I want zero part of the haunted house. Is it what? Uh, what's he called? Thirteenth gate. Thirteenth gate. It's still that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, oh yeah. Mm. 
Um, I'd, I'd heard through a grapevine that you were invited to that next Thursday, and I was like, he's going to find a way out of it. There's no way he Well, I was. I did, honestly, I, got, I was supposed to go to Houston on Tuesday. The meeting, I had, the meeting I had got moved to Thursday. So I had, like, I had my hands are tied. Yeah, I hate to my see hands that. Actually, I'm already here. I got you know what me to do. Like, no point do you, want, you want me to make money for our family, or do you want me to go to the 13th gate? I don't know what you want me to do. You know what I mean? Kobe's like, not gonna eat. I mean, that's it. You know, you got <laughs> eat or eat or die. You got, you know, <laughs> that's the way of life. That's it. Trust me, you speak, you're speaking to a professional yeah. in this. Like every time I play golf with a client, like I'm trying to sell more insurance. I'm playing right. golf today. You're, I mean, you yeah. are center of influence. That's what you're doing right there, right? Y'all hire. You got to do it. Um. I know, I know everybody's football season, nobody really wants to talk about baseball, but I want to hit on baseball a little bit. I think if you have two people that don't watch baseball at all until the postseason, I think it's relevant because we're both watching. Yeah. Like, no, I, I mean, it's, it has a lot more Postseason baseball is fun. It Absolutely. really is. There's a lot of energy. Lot. I mean, First time since I've done playing, games, I missed it. That's a lot. 62. 162. 162. 162 games. It's a lot. Like, I'm losing interest. Yeah. But saying. the playoffs is when all the interest should come yeah. back. Well, playoff baseball like, is legit, but like he said, bro, 162. Yeah, yeah. Unless season, somebody I know is not – like, I'm not like, just watching a game. Like, yeah, Tuesday, like, I can't yeah. be a big fan at 162. No. no. Now, that was the first baseball game that I have watched, not on the field in, like, 10 years. Yeah. yeah. First time this year that I've actually, like, damn, I've missed baseball. Yeah. No, you know I mean, made like, the cool did you spot sit, like too. in the in the for the people section or were I you know, like, I was, I was, back home. I was right home. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> right Man, I bet you had a great time. Well, I had Bryce tickets. I mean, <laughs> I was, like, I was, uh, you know, whose tickets right? were those? Uh, so my cousin just said I had two tickets. I don't know where he got yeah. them from. They were two oh, good ones. Yeah, yeah. Behind us, like the like the whatever level, like the club level, whatever it was, Ivan Cabrera. You know, it's Bregman. Him and Bregman are boys. Oh, yeah. I saw him. <laughs> I really miss baseball. Mikey, you were I playing in the game. Here, right Mike was so close. Yeah. He was the one signaling, signaling to the guy with the plays. Like, yeah. yeah. He was the one with the mirror yeah. back there. I was, like, I yeah. was relaying. The, the coaches were looking at me. And like, what were they? I was like, hey. He was 98. That's what they did. That's the signs in the stands. Okay. Yeah, so I was giving, I was relaying the, the little, my, little tail. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's it look like? Oh, a lot of sink this way. He's going up and down. You know. Mike, he's just tough. in the back doing all that. He's yeah. tough. Like they had me on TV. Like, man, this guy's really giving scouting reports to these guys. Like, you know, the I guy some behind friend. you's like, who's this psychopath yeah. in front of me here? He's got a tick. I'm sitting <laughs> doing hand signals all day. I'm trying to hunt the game. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, like I had friends on both teams. It was, it was a lot of interest. I was glad I got to go. Show's kind of winding down a little bit. This is what I want to do. I know you don't have your computer on you right now. I want to talk gambling a little bit. I want you to give us, because this is the end of it, last oh. 20 minutes. Oh, there he goes. He was like, well. Here it is. Well, Just say gambling. He's I don't in. care about yeah. that. All right. Like a dog with a bone. Oh, never mind. He's back. All because, right. look, these guys right here all want some gambling picks. Yeah. We gotta, these guys, we this gotta guy. Get, we got to get the picks. That's why. the only reason why I came. Where'd y'all go? Why'd y'all leave and come back? They went to walk the dog. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's go down. Let's go down to like the actual like meaningful. You want some games that I got? What you want? Yeah, I want the games you got. Games I was like, gonna ask I you games if you had them, but I want what yeah. you got. What do you got? Pick me a winner, Bobby. I got Penn State minus four. What's that line? Well, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Probably not minus four for us. <laughs> no, no. Speaking about for the people, Jesus, it's the opposite. It's yeah. five. Yeah. It's not that bad. No, it's not bad. It's five. <laughs> the total should be the good ones. Let's see some totals here. Um. Houston Cougars under 53. Oh. Houston under 53. Yeah, what is the number? Is there a search bar on this website that you What's gave that me? What's you on? Caesars? Search bar is on no. Caesars, bottom right. Oh, hold up. I was looking. I'm not on Caesars. I'm on uh, the other website that it's, just has long. Go to Caesars. I'm uh, on it right now. What did you say it was? I can pull it up. Houston. Uh, 50 and a half is over under. 50 and a half? You got three points. Two and a half to be exact. What did you say? 52 and a half or 53? 53. Oh, my bad. You said 50 and a half? What do we do? We got 53. Which, I, I want you to, we, we talked about this before on the show. Why is it so important to go and hit the lines? That's why it's important to hit the lines early in the week, right? Yeah, if you beat the number, it's over. Right. So should we go the opposite uh, way if we didn't beat the number? Or I mean, is it, the numbers I'm going to call out aren't even close. Right, but, it's, but, but here's what I want to ask, right? If you called the numbers and you say you got, a, you got the line at 50 and a half, and now, or 52 and a half is 50 and a half, is that enough to go the opposite? Like, is that? Uh, what, at what point? At what point do you say, okay, the lines move so much, go the opposite way? Honestly, I don't know because I'm always on the right side, so I never got to decide that. Fair but, enough. Fair I mean, enough. If it goes from 53 to 49, well, and you take over 49. It's yeah, not right. A bad bet, you know? Right, right, right. I mean, it's, it's it's more of the closing number when the game kicks off. What was the post number? You know, if it was you bet over 49, and the game closes at 51. You got a good number. You right. Know? 
but I also got a good number at under 53. It all it is is trade numbers. It becomes a number thing. Do you try like, to avoid the big, big games? Like, no, you, not really. I mean, we'll bet big games. Like, do you like, like what do you have well, on like the... the bigger the game is, think about this, right? Like, NFL football, oh. there's, what, 16 games on a Sunday? How sharp are NFL lines? Unbelievable. They're pretty sharp. Because there's yeah. there's 32 teams in the league. Right, there's right? so they're many, all, yeah. They're all professionals. It's like, You're right. But you bet, there's Houston, not you a bet no, Houston playing ULM. Correct. Exactly. You, got, you got some margin. Exactly. Yeah. Like, on Saturday morning, we're going to bet a bunch of FCS things. Yeah. We bet a bunch of games last Saturday. I didn't even know the teams existed. Have you yeah. heard of Lindenwood? No. Lindenwood Who? is a football no. team. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Stonehill. Is that, that sounds like a hospital. That sounds like a hotel. Like, like, if I was the bookie, sounds like well, hospital. The, the hospital of <laughs> if I was the bookie, my, the my rules would be if you call me Iraq, a vet, I don't know. And you can't name the mascot, you're not vet. Like, if you can't name right. the mascot, you're not right. There's no way. You yeah. know? Okay, so here's, uh, here's another question, right? The Texas-Oklahoma, we talked about Texas-Oklahoma State game opened at Texas Fair by two and a half. It's right now at six and a half. If you got two and a half, you got a pretty damn good number. Right, but like, would that be, would the six go, and a half be I enough to go going, Oklahoma State? If I was going to bet that game just randomly and I went look at that line and went from two and a half to six and a half, if I was just going to bet, it, to bet something, I'm taking the plus six and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you got to. Yeah, yeah right. 100%. Yeah. At that point. All right, keep going down your list. Keep going down your list. Uh, Colorado Buffaloes, Lloyd. He's got under 50. Let's see. At Oregon State, under 48 and a half. Yeah, so that, you know, point and a half, but. Well, the number I would there take would that be, still, I think. I think I would take that. Gambling, yeah. yeah. The number you're looking How about for is Akron? like. Give me one on Akron. All right. Akron's playing Kent State. I got over 67. You're just flexing on that you got it early, really, is what this has <laughs> turned into. What'd you get it at? 67. 65 and a half. 65 and a half? So another point and a half. I'll take Wait, that under, too. That line, 65 and a half. So we bet over 67. So oh, that's. Our, some other somebody else came went in opposite. and went out. Yeah. So sixty-five and a half. I got a bad side. Would be of that. yeah. yeah I got a terrible or side. Go, or you got the right side. Nah. <laughs> or they're wrong and you're right. So, so should I bet the over now? Open that. Yeah. So uh, should I bet the over? Let's talk some Pelicans, bro. Let's talk some Pelicans. Okay, Pelicans. All right, let's do it. Let's talk to Pelicans. Uh, I, I love the I love hey. the bird, the pelican. Yeah. What's that? Bird. State bird. You what? Oh, nothing. Don't worry okay. about me. Okay. Okay. If they stay healthy. <laughs> hey. So there, first of all, Zion's nickname is now Thanos, apparently. This is what all the players Zion on the team Zion wasn't are. enough? What is Zion, it? Zion, well, Zion's his first name. I know, but that's good enough. That's like LeBron. Like, it just, that's your name. Once well, you become a first name athlete, you've They made call it. him Thanos, I guess, because he's just a, a bully. Dude, and that whatever, dude's got right? the state of Louisiana on his back. Hey, it's unbelievable, right? right? If he yeah. plays like he did yeah. the first game of the season all year, yeah. Pelicans are going to be the number one seed in yeah. the West. For sure. Yeah. Like, well, Ben Simmons was also guarding him. Huh? Ben Simmons was guarding him. Ben Simmons is a great defender. Not at, not against Thanos. Yeah, That's, but Ben Simmons is an all NBA defender. Not ben Simmons also scored four points. Yeah, five rebounds, five assists. The all-around game is there. Oh, that's good. He's uh, he's doing the uh, Draymond Green stat lines. Yeah, they gotta stay healthy. They stay healthy. But here's the deal. I don't think that you have three. Like, everybody wants to talk about all the big three, right? Everybody's got a big three. That's how you have to do it, right? Is there a big three better than the big? If they stay, if, if Zion stays healthy, is there a big three better than the big three that the, that the Pelicans have? You have Brandon Ingram, who's a superstar. Zion. You have Zion. You got CJ McCollum, and then you got then you got uh, Valanciunas is uh, going to average you about eighteen to twenty a game. Big three. He's with me. He's with me. Yeah, they are. Big three. Uh, you got Kyrie Durant. They yeah, have but, a third. You know. You know, like you know Ben Simmons is supposed to be their third, right? The Pelicans stay healthy. They got a shot. Like, the Pelicans just played those guys and blew their doors off. You can still get them at 40-1. to 1. Really? To do the what? Favorite, to win the whole the thing? favorite to win it was the Nets, who we just beat the shit out of. Beat the shit out of them. Yeah. wasn't even close. I mean, dude, and they got all the rookies and all, like, the second, they're going to be their second year in. I think Herb Jones is going to be one of the uh, the best players. I think he's the most important player on the team, to be honest with you. Pelicans are favored by seven at the Hornets without LaMelo Ball for the, the Charlotte favorite Hornets. Favored by seven tonight? Mm -hmm. Hornets? Hey. Yeah. Mr. Hey, Ball's Mr. out, huh? Yep. He's hurt. Mr. Seven Star rating. What are the chances we get some Pel some Pelican tickets? Dude, Caesars, Caesars has floor seats. I know. Well, I'm asking you. Uh, so my, the guy I got him from last year is no longer there, but I can. <laughs> you're I'll, call my I'll call my host, see what we can yeah, do. I mean, you're I'll a seven star. Host. You got to get something, right? So he, dude, he actually gave me. Brooks, my little boy, loves the Warriors, loves Curry. And last year, it's like second to last game of the year. He's like, hey, man, we got Caesars got two floor seats. We'll give them to you for the game. I'm like, perfect. They had already locked it up. Curry didn't play. Clay didn't play. 
gave, I gave to Jordan. Jordan, like, bro, like, no offense. Like, what about? Not going. I'm so there's two things that, and then the on-field suite. I need. We need for to the go football to that. games. That's sick. Man, so I've been invited a couple times with somebody else, but Brooks plays football on Sundays at yeah. one o'clock. Oh. It's almost over though. Okay. We're going. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Have you sat one in the steel on suite yet? I have a level. Have you? No. <laughs> Dude, you got all the pull. I got no pull. I mean, I think going, I mean, I I think pull, going into the end zone would be I've awesome. I've done for the Arlington Cowboys. When they're on the other side. The sweets, they're fun, huh? It's all right. Oh, you've the been on the Arlington Cowboys. Okay. It's, it's all right. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's okay. okay. It's, it's, not like, it's not like making six it's birdies to close a round out. I would, so I would yeah, much yeah. rather be in the student section at an LSU game than on the field suite. Hey, so here's my okay, I can write. Here's, here's my question. You come in for the game. I want to be with the people. I agree with that. You come in for the game for this week. Where are you sitting tomorrow in the game? Tomorrow? I'm in the TAF deal. Uh, they sound like for the they people. give me different seats every year. But know. you are in the suite or like in the stadium? No, last year I won. I was on the 30 in the lower bowl. But I only come for two or three games a year, and I don't have season tickets, but I donate. So they give me four seats. I don't know where they are. They're always good. So right, right. I don't know where they are tomorrow. Actually, they're in my pocket. Let me <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I need see know. what we got. Let's do, do a reveal. Yet. Let's do Listen, a reveal. Oh, hey, we got good seats. We got good seats. They're in the, oh, they're they're in the We got good seats they're, tomorrow. How you know? How you they're know? Because they're, the they're firm. For the hard ones. <laughs> yeah, we got good <laughs> seats tomorrow. All right, it's okay. Maybe. We'll be up there. I'll be up hey, there you. know what? I'll trade. Any students who watch it right now, I'll trade you right now. Wow. For my first Tiger, student section. We're on the east side, Tiger Den. He's in the suite tomorrow. All right, I want to be in the student section, though. Anybody watching? Right, I got two students. I'll, I'll trade you these four. <laughs> <two students. laughs> yeah. Well, what a trade that would be. Uh, we'll talk about, talk about TAF. We're going to get these guys showing us. What the fuck are you? And we got a parking pass. Hey, we got a parking pass. Coach, you got everything. Oh, look at that. When you fly to the stadium, you only get a parking pass. Hey, yeah, yeah. We can be coming to baby. He's going to help. I'm doing a flyover. Yeah, Hey, here comes a weed eater. I don't know if it's going to make it. So here comes a drone. Yeah. Uh, Pull hey, up. Hey, that's Peterson. He's pissing out the window. <laughs> What's your okay. name? We'll write it for you. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna take that. I think I like Mississippi State 21. I would not. Bet yeah, I like the Bulldogs an angry... tomorrow. I like the Bulldogs. I think 21 is a lot. I think yeah. it's a lot. I think an angry Nick Saban after what? What's right, Nick? It's also, it's also one of those games. I'm going where... to Thank you. Basketball game, fourth grade. Hey, over, how many points are you gonna score? Eight. How many? How many Riley... shots is he gonna shoot? Shot attempts. Two and Riley is and explain. Riley is your. Daughter. She's I know how grade. old. Uh, Eight, nine. She's nine. Nine. Put him on total the spot. points scored Jesus. in the St. Jude, St. George. The other night total is gonna probably be about total eight and a half <laughs> in the total game. All right. And okay, what's the over under? Uh, we're gonna go prop bets. Over under amount of shots that Riley gets up today. She's gonna over and under is two and a half. I'll take over. She likes to shoot it like a brother. Okay, she does. We haven't I scored she yet, was... though. We haven't scored. Oh, we oh, haven't scored. No, no points. Shooters scored. keep shooting though. She's gotta keep shooting. Yeah. You can't score if you don't shoot, right? Yeah, it's going to get go hot at one point. point. Sooner or yeah. later. You didn't quit yeah, after 12 bowls today. Okay, so over under what? One? one she'll get a bucket tonight, I feel like. Okay. Yeah, she'll get a bucket. One I'll point. report back. All right, yeah, bet let me know. Bet on Caesars. Yeah, I'll bet on Caesars. Later. All right, all right thank you. All right, uh, all right, Lloyd. Sir? We did good. Good show. This is a great Friday show. We got 10 minutes. We got 11 minutes left. I want you to go through the seggies. Do we have any seggies? I do, but I can't pull any of the videos up because of where That's we fine. are. That's fine. We'll just talk about it anyway. Okay. So. Not My Fault is brought to you by Dozy Place, which we just talked about earlier. Best burger in Baton Rouge, I believe. Should you go try it out? Only for lunch, though. Only for lunch. Very exclusive to lunchtime. Great steaks, too. I can't even hear you. It's loud I, in here. There's bro. a lot of people in here. I can't even hear you. It's good. We got a lot of energy. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's good, all, it's good just, energy. I have, I have headphones if you need an extra set. Yeah. I can hook I need, you up I need, my, I need my headset, you need, Lord. The, you need the can. I'm deaf. Like, my wife always yells at me. She's like, you can't hear me. I'm like, yeah, kind of. I'm in selective hearing. But yeah. No, like, <laughs> yeah. I really yeah. I can't hear you either. I heard you, but I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. you. How many? I got four. Oh, you have four now. I got four. Hey, you got a chance for one of them to get hey, that I card. Got, that's right. Well, it's time. It's about time to go get. I was. Are you done? Are you done? The problem is with this. If we have another one, it's triplets every time, right? Oh, so you uh, get seven. seven, and then you're dead to the world forever. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're, your life's over. You ain't yeah, getting the, you're that's getting it. those club suites that's anymore. It. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a whole thing. That's seven tickets. Yeah, that's a whole. Kid, that's a whole suite. Yeah. Like they're not giving me that. No. Yeah. yeah. Oof, seven's like, a lot. Seven's a lot. My I was in the lead at Augusta there for a second. <laughs> Time for the lead. That's right. <laughs> Keep playing that card. Yeah, I can't do oh, it. Oh, we didn't even talk before we get to we didn't even talk about Christian McCaffrey getting traded to the 49ers. Unbelievable. 49ers are, are now they're back. Mm -hmm. You see who else was interested? Who? Saints? Rams. Hey, you know what we also didn't touch on Mikey? What? Odell. Where's Odell gonna end Where up? Where is Odell gonna go? Dude, he's getting close. It's he's getting, getting close. He's getting close. He visited uh, the he visited the Vikings this week. So my dumb ass, I saw I saw on Twitter that he got he got he got signed Open yesterday. Mike. 
and it was, oh, it got was fake news. The fake. So I, I immediately go on fantasy football, and I I got him yesterday. That's oh, good. Well, no, that's I good. Like, that's I was like, hell yeah, I got Odell. That's and then I, I learned today that it was fake news. I'm like, God, no, that's gonna be good for you. Was it bend over insider? Yeah, he got me too. He got you too. On air. I was like, oh shit. I was like, hell yeah, I got him. And like my waiver, my waiver claim is in place. And I was like, I got him. F-A. And then I learned today that it was not even real. Hey, that's like, going to end up being a good one for you, though. You think so? I do, because he's going to sign. He's going to sign soon. He's going to be on a winning team. Like, he's going to a team that's going to have a chance to win the Super Bowl, so he's going to get have a good quarterback throwing yeah. to him. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, probably. I mean, I heard the Chiefs are the, like, the, the lead. Chiefs? I know. I've just I've recently heard the Chiefs are kind of in there, and I heard that. The, the Vikings, are, he visited the Vikings. The Rams. Giants are trying to get him back again. Like he they're, tweeted they're, Saquon. Yeah, Saquon, their boys. And so, but look. Odell's doing the Odell thing. He's trolling it. He's getting all the publicity because he knows, like, if I say something, people are going to look into it like, oh, yeah, he's friends with Von Miller. He wants to play with Josh Allen. He loves L.A. Yeah. Like, he's doing all the storylines, which I respect that. Maybe come back home to New Orleans. Yeah. I don't think I think that ship has sailed. The Maybe two and wide receiver. Yeah. He's hurt. He needs to get back. I know, bro. Because when, he, when he was healthy, he was, looked great. I know. Like, that's the thing. Like, we remember Jarvis because – Jarvis was here when we were here. Yeah. Like, Jarvis, I remember staying out at, uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't even tell this story, but we were at WCA, where yep. we all lived yep. freshman year, and then we were all senior. I was a senior. Jarvis was a sophomore. He was a couple years behind us. Right. But him and Odell came out of their apartments one day, and we was like midnight. We, we had co- gone to bogeys, and we come back, and we were hitting golf balls at Kirby Smith, <laughs> at, at Kirby Smith. <laughs> We were hitting it at Kirby because no, right? no one lived there. No one lived there. They tore it down. No one lived there, and we knew we knew, we knew no one lived there. But but Jarvis and Odell come out and I'm like, hey, what y'all doing? Like we're hitting golf balls at Kirby Smith. We're all drunk. He's like, hey, can we join? And then neither one of them ever hit a golf ball ever. Like, and we've been hitting seven irons. You're gonna piss time. me off. You're gonna piss me off with this. Yeah, I am gonna piss you off. So oh, I, I hand my seven iron to Odell Beckham Jr. And I'm like, you ever hit a golf ball? He's like, nah. But I watched you. I was like, well, just do what I did. Dude, this he, he grabbed my seven iron and he hit this thing on a string, on a rope, right into the middle of Kirby Smith, 170 yards. It was like, bro. That's unbelievable. And he just handed it back to me. He was like, that was easy. I'm like, bro, this is the hardest sport in the world. Hardest. Dude. The golf ball's sitting right there and you can't hit it. Most people can't even hit it. And you just Square hit it, it, up. Hit it on a rope. In the face. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it to this day. I hey. wish I had it on film because it was so unbelievable that I like when I tell that story, people don't believe it. Another, another point to how athletic he is he came to threw out the first pitch of the LSU of the baseball game wearing the LSU jersey not a baseball not a baseball player right gets on the mound from the rubber 88 miles an hour right down the middle 88 88 miles an hour right down the middle oh the great are going red I'm like this dude can do everything dude 88 like you know people say is? oh 88's not hard dude if you're not a baseball player and you've never Whoa. thrown it 88's hard 88's helmet yeah dude that's Chad Jones yeah. That's Chad Jones. Except Chad was 90, 93. And Chad was scary. Yeah. I yeah. saw that when I saw that dude on campus the first time, I was like, oh man. I'm just like, little pipsqueak golf. Hey, 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 with the dreads, with the dreads, yeah. That's Chad Jones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on top of his head. Like eating next to him and eating, all, like Glenn Dorsey. Remember eating next to Glenn Dorsey? He had like four steaks. His brother, like, um, uh-uh. Chad's brother, Raheem. Raheem Alim? Scariest human being I've ever seen in my life. I won't even look at his brother? Yeah. He played Scarier than Chad? Raheem, dude. Raheem Alim used to wear. Raheem Alim. He wear a, well, He just wore a chain link necklace, like the big like deadbolt chains around his neck would walk around campus like, no, t- like, no thank you. He would you. not. He would no, like. You, you want you my test answers? Like no facial expressions. <laughs> like, you want my snacks? <laughs> yeah. Stone <laughs> cold. Him. It was. He was. He was scary. terrified. Yeah. yeah, he was scary. He punted. He had that big sack, and then he punted the football. He kicked the football. Oh, I remember him. He had the he had the huge brand on his yeah. arm, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, I remember him. He yeah. was scary. His name was uh, Raheem Alim. Before that, he changed it to Raheem Alim. Alim. It was something Jones, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Chad would know. Al Jones? No, not Al. No, that's Al Woods. Al Woods. No, he Al. had a huge like U yep. on yep. his arm. Was, yeah. He was a uh, uh, yeah. a mega fly side. Yeah. So they would go around campus and bark at you. Um, yeah, I remember him. Go, all right, back to the segments. Oh. Brought to you by Dozy Place. Not what? my fault. Do we not have one there? No, I do. Um, did anybody see the new Danger Witch commercial with Russell Wilson? Here's another one? Oh, it's worse. Can it's, this guy just go home? And it's not, almost to the point where I think he might be trolling us because it is so bad. He has on a sock hat, like barely on his head. He's wearing sunglasses. 
black leather gloves and does like the five most dangerous ways to eat a subway danger witch and one is like the feet like the airplane to a baby He's, he does it to himself and you're just like what is going on here can we, it is can he just say you know what like let's take a few plays off let's go sit in time out for a little bit and let's not do these things anymore I, I can't hear you. Russell Wilson. Okay. Has another Danger Witch commercial that just came out. You know the, what? The Danger Witch, like the Subway commercial, like his, oh, like yeah. he had another one, like the most cringeworthy guy in the NFL. Dude, he is. So is that is that your not my fault? Is like. Yeah. Yeah. So a little funny, a little like. Because I don't know if I was it's in Subway. Ve- I was in Vegas, uh, maybe five years ago. Me and Amanda were in Vegas. We didn't have kids yet, and we were walking through the Cosmo, and I look over, and Russell Wilson's at the high limit table with Sierra. And they, uh-huh. had, they had it closed off, couldn't join their table. But you could get close enough to see what they were gambling. That dude was playing $10 a hand and closed the table off. No. Yeah, yeah. He He's worth, what? $300 million? Yeah. <laughs> $10 a hand, closed the table off. I'm you like, man. About the game? What you, hey, we got an old Miss guy here. Oh, oh we got it oh. Oh. Sit down in the hot oh, seat, baby. Hey, 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 Gosh Almighty! Hey, let's sit down in the hot seat. Let's talk take? a little. Let's talk a little football. So he's a, this is this is a Louisiana Louisiana guy from Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, I betrayed the home team. Well, you man. couldn't get into LSU or what? Went to Ole Miss. <laughs> right? Pull off that color. Which, Ole Miss is probably in. closer to Shreveport than Baton Rouge is, right? Hey, he just couldn't color in the well, circles. That's what his problem no. was. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't get into LSU. <laughs> well, that tells you all you need to know about Ole Miss. Legacy. Uh, <laughs> what's, uh, give me, give me what's your, uh, what's your take? What's your take on the game? Man, like I said give me earlier your, today. Your non-biased take. Yeah, no, I mean, I think I really do think it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be, you know, I think a fifties may win it. Whoa. Yeah, fifty burger may win it. Fifty burger, I like uh, that. Hopefully, we are the fifty burger. Though. Yeah, 50. high forties. Hell yeah, you get uh, the fifty points, you should win every game. Why? Yeah. So what's, what's going to be the like? What's going to di- differentiate Ole Miss? Like, what's going to win the game? All right, not. Like, is it going to be Lane Kiffin? Is it well, going to be because you're going to run the shit out of it? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So, you know. That's all I ask here is great questions. You know, that's yeah. all I do. Here. Old Miss, they don't think too far ahead. Oh, I didn't know you were going to ask me anything when I was on here. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about it last week. Uh, you know, with Lane Kiffin, you know, Ole Miss is just having fun. And I think when you're having fun, you win. Yeah. They're confident. They're feeling good. Yeah. They're feeling swaggy. Now, what would you say about all of the skeptics that say, well, they haven't played anybody on their schedule yet? Yeah, uh, well, it's true. I think LSU is probably our biggest test so far. Uh, well, Vegas would agree. Vegas. Yeah. Would yeah. Agree. So, yeah. you know, I think we find out a lot about both teams this week. I agree. Um, you know, I, I think it's I think it's the biggest game in Ole Miss history. I disagree with that. I think it's the biggest game. I think uh, I think Alabama, pro- like I said, 2014. Maybe Chad since Kelly we've been games. alive. Maybe. Well, what happened in 2014 after that game? Yeah. Well, y'all stormed the field on us. Why are y'all storming the field on Ole well, Miss? That, we're in a bad place that year. We might do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? But y'all, y'all are 7-0. Y'all yeah. came to Baton Rouge after the big win. And then Les Miles and LSU up his scored first 10 points and, 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 and beat you. Yeah. 10 yeah. points. They did the whole Les Miles. We're going to score 10 points and we're going to beat you. Hey, you know what he brought up, though? He brought up the Ole Miss is having fun. And the yeah. winning games. And I think, I think both teams could say that now. Yeah, right. LSU, for the first time in three years, last week, Jaden Daniels and that team looked like they were having yeah, fun. Yeah, I agree with that. They looked yeah. like they were having fun. I think it's gonna be. Really, I think it's gonna be. I, I'm very glad yeah. it's not a night game. Yeah. Two thirty game. I oh, think no helps shit. us. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I think it, I, I'm with you. I don't know if it's gonna be quite 48, 50 points, but I think it's going to be. It's gonna be exciting. Like it's gonna yeah. be a fun game. And I think it's gonna. I think both teams are gonna show out. And I don't fun. think it's gonna be a blowout. What? Both teams are gonna have fun. I think both teams are going to have fun. Yeah, both teams are going to have fun. That's, I think that's both what teams we are going to have right? a lot of fun yeah. on playing. Yeah. I really do. I really do. I mean, I think – now, I am worried – I told you, I am worried about a little bit about Lane Kiffin because he's very creative in what he does, and we just don't have the depth up front. But but we're at home. At the end of the day, it's Ole Miss. <laughs> we beat Ole Miss a lot. At the end of the day. Yeah. Can okay. you give me – like two players to watch, two players to watch, one on offense, one on defense. So this. I think everybody wants to talk about our running backs. I think Jackson Dart may surprise you tomorrow. I think he, okay. I think he I'm may just have not, a I'm big not game. Him, so We're yeah. not saying he's bad. No, he's, he's yeah. very good. That dude, that dude's good. But when John Rise Plumley left last year, yeah, like he went to UCF, he's right? Balling huh? He's balling out. He is balling out. He's balling. But Lane, yeah. Lane Kiffin and him seem to be like best friends. All right. And if I'm in my, in my if I'm in his shoes. There ain't no way I'm leaving 
my best friend, right? So I'm kind of questioning the entire deal at this point, right? right? I get it. You want to play somewhere, and you're not going to play because Jackson Dart's coming in. But, but I don't know would, what I believe about Ole Miss now. Dart. I don't know if I believe what I hear now. Right. Because that was his dude. That was, that, that was the guy, right? He's right. a baseball that player, football player. more of his game. <clears throat> but you have this dude who's your best friend, and then he, he rolls out, and you got Jackson Dart. Jackson Dart's a stud. He's yeah. a stud. Yeah. I think he could – he could have a hell of a game tomorrow, but if we can contain the run, I think I don't think that's the thing. I don't if think if run, we can contain if, the run, if, I don't if, think if Ole Miss, if can, Ole Miss win. can run the football like they ran last week, we're in trouble. Now, yeah. if they can't run the football, I think if we can contain the corners, because I think that I, mean, I think our ends are going to be able to get to Jackson Dart. I, I don't think, think if, if Ali Gay, BJ Ojolari, and Harold Perkins, my guy. Well, that's and that's, that's my guy. That's the that's if we the kicker, contain right? it. If Ole Miss can run, it's going to limit kind of what Harold Perkins can do. If Ole Miss can't run. And you have to rely on Jackson Dart dropping back and trying to scamper. That means Harold Perkins on the field a lot, and that's yeah. tough. You don't want to get in third long against LSU. You don't want third and eight, third and no. ten. Yeah, I don't that's... know how he's going to handle the pressure. So I think if you can get pressure on him, I think he probably panics a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, what about defensively? Can you uh, can, do y'all stop anybody defensively? Wait, what's up with the defensive end? Is he playing or not? The what? Defensive end. I mean, he's not a beat writer. Well, no. Well, I'm sure he keeps up with it like we do. Is he playing? Who? I don't know. He's supposed to be your best player on defense. That's what that beat writer told us. Defensive end? Uh, I don't know his name. I'll look it up. We're a sports show. We don't know his name, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, We're not based on facts or anything. I, I don't right, know yeah. the answer regardless. <laughs> but. Yeah. But I don't, know, I don't know who he is. But defensively, like, are, y'all, are you confident in the defense? I think we're going to try to contain the quarterback from running. So, I think – I know he had a great game yeah, last week. scary last week. So, I think kind of the same thing for y'all. I think we're going to try to contain him. I think he may throw for a lot of yards. Our defensive backs, I feel like, are kind of weak. Oh, I love that. Vanderbilt kind of exposed us a little bit. Hey, ben, Vanderbilt. Sneaky. Yeah. Hey, Vandy Sneaky has a good freshman quarterback. Yeah. That guy's sneaky they good. They won three times, bro. That's more than yeah. they can say if last few years. That's right. He's sneaky Tol- good. Tol- He's Tol- a freshman. That's right. Us. That's right. So, the teams that we played that, you know, throw it, man, those are the teams we're struggling against. You know, we're doing well against the run. We're struggling against the pass. So, yeah. You know, I think if he can throw it tomorrow. I hope he can. I hope if he – because that's – that's a, I hope we can throw. I hope he throws like he did last week. If he doesn't leave the pocket early, we're in a good spot. Yeah. Ole Miss yeah. is ranked 88th in red zone defense also. So, if you get it down there, you should probably put it in. 88? 88th. Yeah. What's LSU? 30. 30? 28. But uh, LSU's red zone offense, getting into the off, into the red zone isn't great. When we do get into the red zone, we norm, we do score. Right? We have a high score rate. But I don't think our we only kicked uh, six field goals this year. Was that we've only kicked six field goals this year? Yeah, right. I just we just don't get there enough. It's kind yeah. of like the and I will say that Ramos kid, that true freshman nails. How nervous were you? How big were his nuts? I know. But how him? nervous were you, I was, dude? I, I told I told a man and my wife. I was sitting there watching with her. I was like, "There's no way he makes it." I, I, I was like, "If There's he no misses way. it, I, I don't have a good feeling." He split the up. That thing was gutted. Forty six, probably gutted. good for six from sixty. Yeah, from sixty. I'm a like, baby draw. Wow, we, we, because he looked super shaky early in the year, super shaky. Yeah, and maybe a little bit because of protection. It was, it know, was. You know, yeah. But dude, that dude, big old sack on that kid last yeah. week. <laughs> I, I respect it. Yeah, and he's a true freshman. We need, we need him tomorrow. We I respect we're it. Need him tomorrow. Uh, we're in the OT. We're in the OT. Uh, let's just go straight to the curtain calls. Brought to you by Frankie Harris at Assured Partners. Hey, thank you. Hey, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming on here and giving your takes on yeah. the Ole Miss. I didn't tell you, not really. <laughs> you see back. Oh, you can't see it anyway. Anyway, curtain call. I didn't call. tell you, just kidding. Anyway, that's a Go Tigers. Oh, that's my wife. What did she say? Go Tigers. Go Tigers, baby. Whoa. What time Former we get? LSU cheerleader. Allie, what time the we cover get? Up, the what cover of Cheer Magazine. Tomorrow. Was it was hey, in the magazine? Hey, hey, all right. Whoa, so we're going to be there for 10. No, we're, oh, we're leaving at 10. Leaving at 10. Look, it is on the record. It is on the record. All the girls in here, y'all heard that. On the record. On the record. All right, Kirk calls. Oh, so if anybody remembers this, Paul, Por- Paul Pierce working for ESPN gets fired, right? Yeah, because the, the girls, the strippers, and the, And it yeah. was his birthday, and so that's why he kind of did it. His birthday today, guess what he gets as a cake from all of his boys? It's that same picture that they took. So Curtin called all of his boys, you know, just bringing that back into the news stream of Paul Pierce having strippers over, going live on IG, and thinking ESPN's going to be okay with it. And he's like, oh, I got fired. He's like, no shit, you got yeah. fired. Shocker. Yeah, you're not working for Barstool, brother. Like, this is the wrong place to do this. So hat tip, Curtin call to those fellas for... 
just bringing it back in my life because it was an all-time moment, and I don't think he deserved to be fired, but I can see why it happened. Yeah, it's oh, he does definitely deserve. I mean, you can't. That's my life. Can't do that. Who cares? What do you yeah, think? I have the privacy of my own home. If you're if you're surprised you did, if you had not your own being show out until two in YouTube, the morning with a bunch of strippers, yeah, yeah you'd be you fine. Need to question I your lifestyle. Yeah, ah, you got the forty-four well, years old. That's, that's tough. Like, if you're surprised about being out till three in the morning with a bunch of strippers, nope. and then you get fired and you question it. You need to yeah, question yeah. yourself. Let's, let's, let's let's you need to reevaluate yourself. Yeah, like, let's reevaluate what's going on. Come on. Let's reevaluate what's going on. Look, um, look in the mirror for, for a second. Well, he Come was. On. He was looking in the mirror. Yeah. Nose down. Nose down. <laughs> Ass up. My current call. <laughs> I had one. I did have one. I just draw a blank. As Guys, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah, the yeah. hell out of it. John. Yeah, yeah thank you. Call. My, current, my current call is to uh, JP. To, uh, yeah, John Peterson for losing in the uh, TAF President's Cup. Uh, to someone that was not on the on the on the tour, somebody that did not yeah. lead. Top he does not get Augusta. he does not get announced on the field at halftime because uh, somebody else beat him on the <laughs> on the thing. But I appreciate you coming in, dude. Thank you so much. It's been great. You're watching Mike Dubber, brought to you by Sterling Automotive. We will see you on Monday.